Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Andrew Chicken, and welcome back to another live stream. We still have to do the ammo trial, and we are still very, very far away from doing the ammo trial. We're at 39% right now. All of the Paladins that I've played in the past more than a week now, at this point, has accumulated in less than half of this quest being completed. Oh, boy. So, we are going to make a lot of progress towards this quest today. I tried to actually <laughs> do this earlier, um, and uh, that stream ended up devolving into a bunch of champion requests where I ended up playing characters that aren't necessarily good for this. So today, I am playing exclusively characters that are good for this, mainly Ruckus, as the title says. So you can still do loadout requests, you can still do, uh, <clears throat> you can still do, like, just challenges in general, but they have to be themed around... Yeah, Ruckus, or I could play Rom, or Koga. Those are kind of the three that would be good for this, right? Because they expend the most ammo out of any character in the game. Ruckus and Rom, fun uh, fun fact, actually have the same fire rate. 40 damage every .05 seconds. 40 damage every .05 seconds. They're basically the same, but I prefer playing Ruckus, so we'll play him instead of Rom. But yeah, let's get the first party of the day going. If you want to join, say your name in the chat. I will invite, and we will get this show on the road. Here we go. Um, there was a second. Why? There we go. Gotcha. Um, oh gosh, I need to scroll up. There's so many names in the chat right now. All right. Uh, Delta Sapphire. There we go. Uh, Udods, and we have one more name that is Markal Meat. There we go, perfect. All right. Well, once A12 accepts their invite, we will go ahead and queue. Koga expends more ammo. Yeah, I know he expends a lot. He also does reload a lot more. Um, well, we can play both of them, honestly. <laughs> like, I suppose the title is a bit of a fib because <laughs> I am open to playing these other characters, but the point is we're trying to get the ammo quest done, right? And yeah, Koga is excellent for it. He has a slower fire rate, technically, every 0 .06 seconds, but he does consume two bullets every time he shoots, so it's a bit strange. He, he's a weird one, but he works. Invite again, I accidentally declined. Oh my gosh, your invite is bugged. All right, let me, let me try everything again. Let me just remake the party. Delta Sapphire, Udods, Markal Meat, and A12 Drizzy with two Ys. You have a pending party invite. You have broken the game, my friend. <laughs> ah! If Eevee gets nerfed, and she will, ooh, that's a bold accusation. What do you think is a good nerf to her that won't make her unfun? Damage nerf won't make sense, especially with armor plating. Maybe Snow Globe ult cost nerf. It's very bold of you to assume that she's going to get a nerf anytime soon. I think she is net worse this patch, thanks to the new item store, because of exactly what you said, armor plating. And when you buy armor plating in Veteran versus Eevee, it really, really hurts her effectiveness. Like, seriously, don't underestimate how good that is. She only does 850 damage per second. 
and she only shoots once every second. So if you force her to take one extra shot, or even two extra shots, that is a massive boost to her time to kill, right? That, that like, extends it out really long. So she basically won't be able to kill you. Seriously. <clears throat> and uh, also, I guess, let me, let me give a bit of a spoiler, chat. Because um, I won't be doing streams next week. I have some IRL stuff going on, and I've actually prepared a bunch of videos in advance. And one of those videos is exactly, uh, <laughs> exactly that. It's, um, how to counter Eevee in Paladins. Um, oop, hey. Hey, Andrew, I am new to the stream. What game is this? This is Paladins. I assume, I, I, I don't think you're new to the stream because you've subscribed for six months on a six month streak. That's a bit silly, but, uh, <laughs> yes, this is Paladins, Champions of the Realm. Great game, yeah. But uh, I appreciate the sub. That's very awesome. Uh... Oh gosh, I'm trying to find a way to show off this video without accidentally, like, leaking information I shouldn't. But the point is, I'm making a, a... I have already made, actually, a video explaining many of the ways you can counter Eevee. ITSMSD1 Myers Ooga Booga. You just gotta know what to do. Yo, thank you so much for that. We got a hype train incoming, jeez. Let me try inviting this person's name again. Uh, what was their name again? What was their username again? My brain's itchy. Let me scroll all the way back up. Drizzy, right. There we go. Hey, that works. Perfect. All right, we can queue now. Yay, I was distracted by Eevee long enough. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Um, ooh, there's test maps. All right, I'll queue for some test maps. I'll just throw everything in here at the start. That I will immediately regret that decision in one or two games because of the matchmaking, but we will try it out anyways. So for Temple Isles, do I need to complete 100% of challenges? I do. Oh, man. I need to complete the ammo challenge for that. That's going to be so frustrating. Let's just lock in the rockets here, and let's start firing away. <laughs> ah. Now it's triple XP. Ooh, yeah, triple XP. I forgot about that. Shoot, I'm going to have a level 100 ruckus by the time uh, this ammo trial is done then. <laughs> oh, no. Uh... Yeah, I guess if you want to grind for some gold skins, absolutely do that. It's been a while since I've grinded for a gold skin now, I've realized. Like, Omen came out... Has it... It's been half a year, hasn't it? Goodness, time flies. Yeah, I... Wow. <laughs> it's it's nice, honestly. I am really happy that they have slowed down the release of Champions. Because, it, it honestly, it was like... It, it was kind of stressful having that many new champions in the game having to learn about them having to grind them it was fatiguing too the game is getting too bloated how long does it take to get gold skins well with triple xp you can get a gold skin by the time the weekend is over if you just put in enough hours play a few hours every day um it, it'll still take a while um Probably like 10 hours spread across three days. But enemy. yeah, triple XP is a huge bonus. So yeah, absolutely. Start up the grind. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do... It is this map. I'll just play... I'll probably play Aerial Souls anyway. It's just for the extra dash. It's just that good, you know? I'm from Argentina. Do you think it would affect too much the match if I QNA? Uh, you'll probably have some pretty large ping, yes. Now, how high that is, I don't necessarily know. Uh, if your ping is like 45 or 60 on Latam South, then it would be probably 200 plus on NA, and that would basically be unplayable. If you do QNA, I advise uh, play hit scans primarily and play characters that aren't super uh, difficult mechanically. And avoid Bomb King at all costs. Do not play Bomb King on ping. He is the worst character when ping starts to get high. Alright, let's go. Pop around the right. Let's do some damage and let's shoot the enemies. I suppose for this quest I should also be shooting in spawn. I kind of forgot to do that. But I need to optimize my strategies here. And that means shooting while we're in spawn. Oh boy. I should make an ammo build for this Loki. That'd kind of be a good idea. Let me get my shield up. I want that ruckus. Oh, he's got his own shield. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Uh, there are a lot of people in here. Vivian's one shoot underneath the shield. I don't know what she was doing shooting like that. Literally one HP, but uh, okay, you do you. I am kind of low. Grover's still topping me off. Let me end their ruckus. Come here. Ooh, nice kill on Saris. Let's lay chase to Koga here. Missiles. Ooh, he was ready for it. All right, 
Fair enough. I'm gonna get my shield up. I'm gonna walk it back. I'm actually taking a lot of damage here. Ooh, all right. Is she over the moon? She is. She actually didn't even need it. I was lower than I thought for that ice staff. Okay, but we still got it. Let's get Chronos 2. Here we go. My ping is 94 and 110 in Latam. In NA, I get the same ping. <laughs> See, that's just weird. That's just goofy. <laughs> Makes absolutely no sense in this game. Honestly, I, like, the game is playable still if you have, like, 110, even something like 130 ping. I feel like it really starts to get unplayable once you get into the high hundreds, like 180. And especially, I think anything over 200 is just unacceptable, frankly. Uh, but yeah, you might have a different opinion. Especially depends on what you play. Eee. Have some more missiles. I'm going to back up for a sec. Ooh, he's really low. The missile didn't hit. If only I was playing Rocket Barrage. He died anyway to Nyx, though. That's excellent. Eevee's one. Oh, and she died to the poison. Nyx is just popping off right now with that aura. Heck yeah. Uh, oops. Okay, that missile was kind of misguided. But, uh... Ooh, wow, okay. Well, I'm gonna pop in with my own ult here. Decimated. Deleted. Oh, she got the ice block up. Let me shield this. Got the Grove Roll. That's excellent. Thank you so much for that. I'm trapped. I'm ensnared. No! Ah, alright. I am gonna fall there. Let's get a point of rejuve for the Grover. Oop, did Talus accidentally dismount? Hmm. That's a really far back portal. Is he Faustian? Oh, he is. Okay. That's good. I thought he was going to teleport back there and just play this really slowly. Holy crap, they are advancing really far up. If we could slip around the left, we'd actually be able to sneak push, I think. Talos might go for that. Oh, he's distracting them, actually. All right. I'm just going to get in here and do some more damage, if I can. Oh, whoa, that's bad. Oh, that's terrible. Dang. Okay. Well, that wiped the team. They committed two pretty heavy ults, though, with only 15 seconds left. I mean, that's really good for our chances of capping the next objective. Okay. Nice. There's no shot we touched the payload, though, right? Stealthy missed me. Oh, someone else got touched, thankfully. Uh, oh, Talus is going in. Seven's running away. I don't know if we have another touch. Talus, oh, he got it. He's dead, though. Get more missiles down. I had to reload. Come here, Koga. Oh, he got healed. No, we don't have it. Oh, man. That was a, that was a bit tough there. Oh, are we talking about Aerial Assault Base Kit again? Not if you give him two dashes instead. Okay, the thing is... His talent dynamic is pretty unhealthy in the sense that... Even with all the Flux Gen buffs, Aerial Assault is still the obvious choice. And it's just due to the inherent nature of... Three dashes and adding vertical mobility being so good for him. I think if you wanted to maybe fix it... It wouldn't be necessarily a perfect solution, but what I would do is... I would put the verticality in base kit... But I would leave at base with Flux Generator and Rocket Barrage just two dashes. And then Aerial Assault would just be a third dash, period. And if you wanted, maybe you could give it like a tiny bit of extra dash distance as well to compensate for the fact that now it's just one dash. And that would overall be a net buff for every play style and even for Aerial Assault if, I, if we were to do that. But yeah, it would help alleviate the other talents of not having the vertical dash, which has become pretty much mandatory on this character. Not a perfect solution by any stretch of the imagination. It's kind of tough to balance him like that, but uh, yeah. It is a shame that his other talents are hampered back by this talent being so good. But if they removed this talent entirely and they were just like, no, no vertical dash, then Ruckus would be like a D-tier tank, because he's so dependent on this talent. Alright, we need to get back to the point somehow. Uh, I'm actually going to conserve my dashes here, and then I'm going to go jump up and above. Boop. Boop. Going in. I just landed on someone's head for that. <laughs> well, we're absolutely nuking Ruckus, but it doesn't matter. I take too much damage there. Uh-oh. Okay, Grover doesn't need to ult that. Man, I got that Ruckus really low. They got that Koga really low. Hopefully he dies here. You got this, Talus. Never mind, you don't. Oh, crap. No, we're falling. We're dwindling. Grover ults here. 
I think seven might just be a lost cause versus Eevee there. Oh, Nyx is dead. Yeah, we just don't have it. Man. That's such a shame. I'm surprised my ultimate just didn't kill Ruckus there. I mean, it, feel like, it felt like it was barely doing damage to him. He has armor plating too, which was helping, I guess, from the, uh, the bullet damage, but... Man. For an ultimate that does 4,000 damage per second, it certainly didn't feel like it there. Oh, well. Um, let's do Rejuve 2. I'm actually going negative. I need to be doing better. I'm not getting enough kills. Oh, I just got bumped by the Vivian. Annoying talent. Alright, there's that stun. Taking way too much damage here. Gotta be more careful with how I take these guys on. Ooh, nice fear. I'm actually gonna throw damage into Vivian here, because she's low. I know Saris is retreating, but she's separated from everybody else. I can just dive down the Koga. Yeah, you're not hitting me with that. And gotcha. Oop, hello. How are you? Oh, I got rockets shooting back at me. Let me get the shield up. Oh, man, they're aggressive. Oh, please. Okay, well, I'll be fine. <laughs> Very silly ultimate. Ah, can I just... No, I can't do that in one dash. I need two dashes for that. Yep, we are in an XP weekend. Absolutely. I saw a lot of Ruckus players running shield talent these days. What do you think? What are your thoughts on that? Well, initially, I think a lot of people just wanted to try the talent out because it is a pretty huge buff that it got. And I suppose if you're in a situation where you're against a lot of crowd control and you don't have a second shield tank on the team and the map doesn't require a crazy amount of verticality, such as this map, maybe you could justify picking that talent over aerial assault. But if you're not against the CC, then it's just the same old shield talent, right? Which, their team pretty much doesn't have CC, so I wouldn't need the shield talent pretty much at all uh, for that. And then, yeah, if you're on a map like Serpent Beach where you still need the verticality, then even if you are against CC, you would still rather pick Aerial Assault, because Aerial Assault is so good on that map. The value it provides is tremendous. And yeah, the reason why I say you shouldn't have a second shield tank on the team either is because if you have a second shield tank like Fernando, and you pick Flux Generator, the enemies are all going to rush Wrecker for you. And at that point, you're not even going to get that much value out of the CC, the CC immunity either, because your shield's going to die really quickly. So then you'd actually get more survivability out of actually dashing, right? Getting out of there, repositioning, dodging attacks. So Aerial Assault is still comfortably his best talent. And it's not even really much of a question, in my mind. Oop, we got the Grove Rolt here. I ran out of ammo, and he still dies. Gosh, they just do so much damage. Why did that set of missiles not hit her? That looked like it clearly landed, but it didn't do damage. It's so weird. Get Vivian. Yes, good job. At least Flux is now usable. Yeah, it's not as much of a throw pick as it was before, and that's good. Also, Guardian is stronger now, so that's another sort of indirect buff to Flux, if you buy that. Yeah, they're going to rush Wrecker for you regardless, but they might do it a bit slower, or not as many characters... Uh, will buy Wrecker if it's just you on the team versus if you do have that second shield tank. Because when you have two beefy shield tanks, like, you know, a common comp, like, I don't know, Barrack Torvald or Fernando Torvald or something like that, everyone in the lobby is going to buy Wrecker, pretty much. Whereas, yeah, if you just have one shield tank, yeah, they'll still buy Wrecker, but it won't be as much, usually. You're not supposed to be able to hit me with hit scan, only Pip. <laughs> ah, right, only Pip, yes. Ironically, my projectile is what missed you there, even though it looked like the AoE landed on the thing and then clearly, like, the circle was on you, but I, I guess not. Game is weird. Alright, we're going in with some damage here. And I'm dead once again. Man, why does it feel like they're doing more damage than me with my ult? Like, this is so, so weird. This match is so weird. Oh, gosh. No one's even mentioned Rocket Barrage. Is it garbage? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. It's, uh... It's a cool idea for talent. And the missiles don't have any sort of area damage fallout. So you, if you hit people right at the fringe, like the edge of your missiles, you'll still do full damage with them. And that's nice. And against a grouped-up comp, you can potentially get value out of it in the sense that you do more damage and that builds you more ultimate charge. That's the main thing. And it's also really good with the Opulence card. But, again, it's just... Oftentimes, it's just not necessary. You'd rather have the extra mobility of Flux Generator to chase... Or, uh, excuse me, yes. Flux Generator, the mobility talent. 
No. You'd rather have the extra mobility of aerial assault so that you can chase down targets better. And... Oh, boy. Yeah, you'd also... You just don't need the cover denial all the time, you know? And again, on a map like Serpent Beach, absolutely Rocket Barrage is a no-go, because you won't have the verticality. <laughs> but yeah, if all of these talents had the vertical dashes, even if they just had two dashes, then you'd be able to a lot more reasonably say, oh, let me just pick this talent on this map, and maybe it would work. If Rocket Barrage applied item effects, it would become so much better. Oh, man. That'd be kind of disgusting, though, because at that point, you'd have a huge AoE bomb that applies Cauterize. And life rip? Like, that sounds kind of scary. Ooh, he's low. I gotta back up, though. Grover's getting assaulted. Stop it. Ooh, I actually took that shot for him, but he's still dead! Man, where's our protection in the back line here? Oh, man. Alright, I'm just gonna go back into spawn, then, and heal up out of combat. We are really struggling out here with this high damage comp. I feel like we're lacking the damage to really win here. Like, it's Ruckus versus Ruckus, so that's basically a moot point in terms of the damage output. We have two flanks, and so do they, but it seems like theirs are doing more damage than ours for whatever reason. Oh, that's bad. Just get behind cover, Grover. Just get behind cover. Focus on staying alive. I actually didn't need the CC immunity there. Okay. Eevee. <laughs> I get, she was trying to distract me, but at the same time, her teammates all disappeared, so she was kind of the only one I had there to shoot. That was kind of a wasted ult, I have to say. Where's Eevee gone? I know she was like... Oh, she is still over there, somewhere. I hear her. Oh, there she is. I feel like Ruckus is pretty bad versus Eevee because he's one of those tracking characters instead of a burst character. You need burst damage to really deal with Eevee effectively, and I guess that's part of why we're losing then, because we don't have much burst damage. <laughs> the closest thing we have is burst mode 7, but even that's not like, you know... A solid 1,000 damage slap from Shaolin, or anything like that. Have you met my friends? Oh, not the friends. Oh, that missile. Just straight up miss. What is she doing? She's just being silly. When he soars like that, she's just a distraction, pretty much. And I need to not focus on her. That's what I tell other people to do, but then I do a really bad job of doing it, because my pride wants me to actually hit her and show that I'm good at this game. But it's just a waste of time. <laughs> it's just straight up a waste of time. I uh, hit those missiles on Vivian. Oh, I'm almost dead. Holy crap. Okay, let's uh, heal up. Oh, fat blossoms. Yes, thank you, Grover. To pull around here. There's some missiles. Don't know why Talos is ulting this late in the defense. Considering we pretty much have this on lockdown. But, uh, okay, secure the kill. Uh, they do have overtime thanks to Eevee. I pushed Saris back, though. Ooh, I'm getting pushed back right now as well. I'm actually dead. Crap. I hope they don't push off that pick. I got up too far. Uh, let me do Chronos 3, and we'll do Master Writing as the final item, since it's the last point. Oh, man. They're bringing out ults for this? Okay, Grover ult's gonna keep us at bay here against this Koga. Oh, he gets the 7, though. Saris is playing really aggressive. Yeah, she is going for that ult. But they see 9. Oh, and we get the Saris anyways. All right. Well, that's a lot of ultimates invested from them. We already almost have Grover ult back. We have my ult back. We have Nyx ult back. Seven ult back. We yet definitely have the upper hand here when it comes to ultimates, and that's really good. We just got to not die to all that damage. No, Ruckus didn't get a buff. Uh, apart from Lux Generator, like... Was that two patches ago now at this point? It wasn't... I think... Ah, Brain's itchy. Um, oh yeah, that was like... You know, I'm playing Aerial Assault. Aerial Assault is still fine. So. In conclusion, always pick Aerial Assault. Pick Flux when the planets align. Never pick Rocket Barrage. Exactly, your Lamar. Unless you're in Sumos, in which case pick Rocket Barrage, because you're just going to hit everybody all the time, and it's kind of funny. And you get basically a Mega Potion every time you hit the missiles as a result from Opulence, and it's uncauterized. <laughs> I do find that place will be very funny in Sumos. Okay, do some damage out there. Let me reload real quick, and then... Let's pop up. Grover ult. Alright. We're keeping him at bay, but we're not really able to push them either, because we've just taken too much damage. Oof. Ow. Alright, I'll hold point. 
I suppose, because Seven doesn't want to do that. He shouldn't do that, quite frankly. He's Seven. Ooh, all three dashes committed there. Ah, my dashes are breaking. I just need to get out of here. Luckily, Nyx killed basically everyone. Absolutely popping off. Let me help finish off Ruckus. Good job, guys. Alright, I'm going to go out and zone. Just going to spray some bullets up here to try and get them off their horses. There's Koga, there's Saris, there's Missiles. Evie's trying to go for it, but she's too slow, and we do end up winning that game. Nice. Even in sumos, play Aerial Assault to chase the healer. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, even then, on the right map, you still need Aerial Assault for that. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, how did we do? 10 kills, 10 deaths. I didn't go negative, but yeah. <laughs> uh, or excuse me, I didn't go positive, but I didn't go negative either. So that was pretty good. That's what I meant to say. 103,000 damage, and how much progress did we make? Am I about 40% now on the ammo quests, or am I even... <laughs> did I even get a percent? Let's see. Wow, it doesn't even say. Thanks, activity tab. All right, fine. We'll go to this tab then. Oh, we're up to 43%. Nice. Yeah, Ruckus is definitely a good champion for this quest. You just have to main him for a few hours, and then you'll get the quest done. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Hmm. I had 64 HP at the end of that double kill. That is intense. Well, that was a really good double kill. That got us so much Siege! space. Choose your champion. Hurry up! Okay. Oh, it's Jack Falls again. All right. Ruckus! Ruckus! Yeah, yeah, Time. There. Seven is officially my seventh level 50 champion. Nice, you dogs. <laughs> That's uh, pretty perfect. Ooh, we might have Fernando this time. All right. Pip heals? Yeah. Sounds pretty spicy to me. Go into Bot Siege and sit in spawn and install an auto clicker. See, what I don't get is why people are doing this quest in bot matches. Because you don't need to. You just need to expend a bunch of ammo. Man, I'm great. Like, Thanks I guess the queue times everything. are faster, <laughs> but it. it's also just, it's so boring. I don't, I don't, I don't get why. Like, there were some trials back in the day that required you to go into bot matches. Shoot, even the 25,000 damage in 30 seconds trial, some people didn't bot matches, and that kind of makes sense. But this is literally just shooting. Doesn't make sense. If they had released ammo trial at the start of the trials, I don't think it would be this annoying. Yeah, it's just irritating that it released this late. But also, it's just... I, I play Paladins more than the average person, and a week and a half later, I'm not even halfway done with this quest. And half the time, I've been playing Optimized Champions. So, it's just, it's just a little bit absurd. You won't spend half the match dead, so if you're ROM, you... Uh, if you go ROM... So your trial progress increases. The battle is about to begin. Uh, okay, I guess, but still, it just seems soul draining, honestly. All right, aerial assault. Let's shoot at the start of the match. Yes, it's a Kasumi player who's not sure. That's just that's insane. I didn't think that was possible. Let's only grip some Chronos. There we go. Three, Yay! Two, two hundred ammo consumed. One. Let's keep going. I've been waiting for so long. All right. I'm gonna pop around here. Luckily, it seems like they have a lot less damage for me to worry about this match. Terminus is basically non-factor. I mean, he's Terminus. All I have to do is dash away from him, and I'll be fine. Uh, let me pop in here. It looks like Kasumi's in here as well. Uh, oh boy. Uh, I might die. I got some pip heals. Okay, we'll be fine thanks to pip. Never mind. Holy crap, he gave me like thousands of healing and I still died. How are you doing that much damage? It's not even over the moon. That's Snow Globe. Just regular base 850 damage? How? <laughs> how? How? I don't understand. Okay, well. Let's just reset then. Oh, seven. Seven, no. How do you die to Terminus? You let Terminus get in melee range? I don't think we're capping this then. Wait. How did Fernando get to point? Okay. Well, Fernando's just recapping right now. Got Snow Globe on me, that's fine. Missiles. Oh, Fernando stepped off a point. Wait. What was even happening over there? I don't understand. He's not even crossed term. I genuinely don't understand how Seven got caught. 
Okay, so I definitely underestimated the amount of damage they can do. I thought with Pip Heals I'd be able to easily out-sustain everything that they're doing to me, but Kazumi is a damage machine. Okay. Wow, we're all just falling over. Fernando's the only one getting kills right now. What a chat. <laughs> oh, boy. Try and get out of there, buddy. Try and get out. I'm almost here. No! Oh, he's rooted. Okay. Well. Try and put pressure back on that Grover. He's siphoning everything. I can't even hit the missiles on him. Uh, ah, alright, let me shield. I'm in a pretty bad position right now. Oh, uh, thank you for the healing. Why'd you stop? No! Uh, I cannot stay alive. They just have so much damage. I'm gonna have to buy armor plating. I can't go for Kronos here. That is insane. Statistically, they have damage champions that are all worse than the damage champions last match for the purposes of actually dealing a ton of DPS, but it's still just, it's so oppressive. I don't know why. Ugh. Oh, I can't make that. All right. Two dashes, then. I need to fall back. Ah! All right, nice ult. Ooh, she died through the Grover ult. That's excellent. I'm going to put just so much pressure on their Grover now. Uh... I don't think I can push him down super hard right now. Oh, he's on Terminus. Or, uh, Terminus is on Pip. Wait. No, I can't even save him. Oh, my God. Why is this match so hard? <laughs> I feel like... I feel like the damage is so lopsided right now. Ah. Yeah, they're just going to push this through. They have Dragon. What are we going to do? No, don't leave spawn. You're just going to die. No, Pip, what are, you, where are you going? Pip. How did you live that? Oh, you didn't. Oh, man. Hmm. When you get the art, does it count towards damage into personal shields? No, it does not. Shields are unaffected by damage reduction. Kasumi is hard focusing me for some reason. You're seven. Why do you think she's hard focusing you? Hmm. I'm just wondering why I'm, I'm feeling so squishy as Ruckus. Jeez, Grover's doing a ton of damage to me. I don't get it. <laughs> I, I feel so squishy right now. It doesn't Four, compute with the comp three, they have. Why we're losing two, this. One. Should have gone for that flux generator. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. I'm going to go around this side and say hi. Um, wow. All of them are attacking me. Okay, good kill on Terminus. I need to heal. Pip's not going to watch. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I'm just going to pop this. I know I'm beating his thing. I don't care. It's going to drop eventually. How does that last for my entire ultimate? He was already using it for a few seconds after I put it... After I cast it. How long does Siphon last? What is this build? I don't understand this, man. I don't understand this match at all. Okay. <sighs> I guess we're just gonna lose. <laughs> I, I guess that's just what's gonna happen here. Mm, she just lives that. She's got the Grover heals. Okay, we can get Terminus. Alright. I'm gonna flank them around the left. Mm, that root. Gosh. Kasumi's half. Come on. There we go. Got her. Yeesh. Is Terminus back here? Oh, he is. Hello. Just gonna blast him. Oh, he's got that Grover ult. Stop it. Mm, I'm in a terrible position. Oh, huge Fernando ult. I'm gonna take this opportunity to run away. Oh, I'm probably still dead. Yeah, I'm still dead. Gosh. You have no pressure, that's why they do damage. But what do we have no pressure? We have two tanks, seven Satsi and Pip heals. This does not compute. Oof. Siphon in my face. Siphon in my face constantly. 
Bro, I can't do any damage. This freaking siphon won't go away. Okay, I'm just running. I'm getting stuck on walls. Just need to run away. We can't do damage. I'm gonna try and pop around the right here. I gotta touch and then just hold. Here we go. Target Imani, that's one. We don't have touch though, so we're just gonna lose. Why was that damage diff so Im like immense? I don't get it. Uh, 48,000 damage. I was top damage. Okay. Imani did 60,000 damage. I mean, the damage numbers don't actually seem that drastically different, apart from, I guess, Imani and Kasumi just being oddballs. That was such a weird match. I don't understand. Let's just go again. Mm. I am bad at 7. <laughs> Why did you get into level 50? My question exactly, Sparkster. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's try and actually win this time. We got Serpent Beach. Alright. Well, that's good Ruckus map. Let's switch up the skin as well. I'm gonna go Star Slayer. That's the serious skin. We're gonna win now. Kasumi got too much value, I think. Yeah, Kasumi is... uh. Kasumi is really shaping up to be a, a pretty scary character, I have to say. I really, like, there are some issues with her still, like her weapon being unreliable, and I think when they fix that, she'll actually be pretty good. <clears throat> but if you look at her win rate, she is still the worst flank in the game right now. Let me pull that up real quick. Paladin's stat. Champion win rates. Roll. Flank. That. Rank diamond. There we go. Yeah. So she's still a uh, 50% win rate, pretty much exactly. Um. Actually, what? Why are there so few picks? Wait, did this? Did the data reset? There's not even a single Kasumi. Wait, what? What happened to the bot? <laughs> Two. Androxus has been picked twice. Okay, well, I know I looked this up a few days ago, so let me just, um, search from... Wait, I'm sorry, why is this not working? I'm afraid I can't do that. What is going on with Discord? Why can't I search from myself? What? I don't understand. This... It, uh, nothing is working today! Okay. I'm getting, uh, aerial assaults, and we're just gonna play the game. We're playing sumos? Okay. Well, I guess, uh, okay. I forgot I had this build. It's basically just DR instead of, uh, opulence. Maybe I could try that out instead. It's basically the same build. But, eh, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna keep using this. It's what I like. And we'll get some chronos. There we go. It's the same Kasumi player. Let's hard focus her, because apparently Kasumi's good now. <laughs> Is that the same Imani, too? I think it is. Alright, well, dash on over here. Do some damage. Force Imani to retreat. Good stuff. Alright, I'm gonna back up now. Let my healer heal me. Hey, Missiles back there. Oh, that was huge. See, that's why I like Opulence so much. That was just 960 health restored pretty much for free. Because I hit him and his shield. It's really, really nice self-sustain. But I'm still dead, because they killed our Grover. Ah, once again, we just have no damage whatsoever right now. Ah. Oh, why would you rewind, you dodds? You would have gotten away with that if you just didn't rewind yourself. Just walk away. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. There's some missiles. I'm gonna need to figure out how to touch here. Although, ideally, we get some kills before we touch. Otherwise, we're just gonna die as soon as we touch. So, uh... We had some fat missiles right there. Oh, I got rooted. I can't touch. I just dashed, but the root was perfectly timed. And we have zero point presence with a four tank comp. Go figure. Why are these matches so awful today? <laughs> ah! Okay. Fall back. 
Put up my shield. Gosh, I'm so low. Our healer died? Alright. Uh, run away. I'm still dying. God. Why is the game so rough today? I guess I'll uh, start to buy some Rejuvenate. Really struggling on the sustain front right now. Oh, come on, just live. Just live. That's all I ask. Just live. There's some huge missiles. I healed myself for a thousand burst heal. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die. What? Why do we have no damage, guys? Alright. I can focus her down. There we go. She dies. Good. Ah. Missiles. Oh, he got a Fernando ult. That was a really bad dash on my part. Ooh, you full healed. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Just gonna run. Here we go. Focus down the Ying. Ooh, I almost dashed after her. It's a good thing I didn't. And now I know Amani's right here. We're just gonna destroy her. Guys, we have three tanks and we can't stand on the damn point. What are we doing? I'm swapping party after this match, dude. What? Guys. Guys. That's... That's just depressing. Who's supposed to be the point tank so we don't see nine? We have Fernando. We have Makoa. Like... I'm Ruckus. I am a flank. I'm not a tank. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. Alright. I'm... I'm... Uh... I'm just disappointed. Let's go flank again. Hello. You guys like damage? Yeah, no Ying ult. Let's release all this rage with an ultimate. Ah. Okay. Oh, man. Let's just not peek. No, nope, stop peeking. There's a shield. Just stay back here. There we go. <sighs> oh, I can't dash up there. Of course I can't. Oh, man. Hi. Ooh, you're back here alone? You're really fast for some reason. Okay. Oh, you should just die. There we go. Perfect. Shield up. You gonna ult? Yeah, he is. Okay, we cap. Thank goodness for that. Ooh, that was a <laughs> very awkward dash. Okay. Missiles. Let me go up top. Bam. Hi. She's so low. Die. No. Why did I do no damage with this character? Okay, I'm going up top. Let me just back away from all that spam. Oh, boy. All right, maybe I can flank around like this. That's an Inferno Cannon. I don't care. Let's dodge most of that. I need to be putting pressure on Ying instead of Imani right now. I'm not gonna be able to kill Imani with all that healing. Oop, that's a full Fernando ult. Alright, I'm just gonna leave. Gosh. <laughs> oh, fair enough, I guess. Right, I'm not chasing that. Ooh, good hook. I'm kinda dying now. I just can't get behind long enough to put pressure on that Ying because they have so much damage back there. I can't really peek. Okay, good. Rover just try and run away. I'm gonna die here. Oh no. Okay. Ruckus damage in 2024, armor plating fair item. Armor plating is pretty disgusting, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the good thing about Ruckus, though, in 2024, is that his missiles are all ability damage. So, yeah. Arcane Ward encounters that, and nobody buys that item. So I'm always going to do a lot of damage with them. That's nice. Ultimately, I don't actually know if that means that Ruckus is able to do more or less damage. 
this patch. Like, I suppose when he has his missiles, maybe he does. I don't really know. I guess, let's think about it properly. Each missile does about 450 damage. So if I fire three missiles, that's going to be, uh, what, 1350 damage, I want to say? Which, I guess, is about half of a champion's health these days. Slightly over. And if that's unmitigated, but then my regular damage is destroyed by 24%, I really don't know if that's actually... <laughs> I really don't know how much of a difference that makes comparing, you know, current armor plating versus old veteran, right? Or old haven, I mean. I'll have to think about. We just drill into her head. It doesn't matter. We fail the push anyways. At least I got the kill, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I know his Ruckus I know Ruckus' main damage is his primary fire, and I suppose net over the whole course of a match he'll be doing less damage now, but I'm what I'm trying to think about specifically is in a 1v1, if you have all three charges of missiles and you just dump them on somebody, I think it's reasonably close. But yeah, you're you're right. In the long term over the span of a match, yeah, he is doing less damage now. Because the missiles are cooldown. Armor plating just hurts so many characters, although they don't even really have much armor plating right now. Five, four, so, three, <laughs> this is just Ruckus' raw damage one. I'm struggling. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Well, I have another ultimate. Let's just play aggressive here. I see a few people going around left. Uh, actually no, they're mostly up here, still. So. Okay, buddy. Well, at least his ultimate is down now. Grover's dead. Why was Grover so far up? That's confusing. Is he trying to heal me? <laughs> Listen, it is my job to retreat to you. It is not necessarily your job to uh, run after me to heal me. I am... I am very aggressive. <laughs> I, I, I push very hard. Um, you probably should not go with me when you're the support like that. Okay, we gotta get touch here. I did not mean to go right. I'm gonna not get touched now. I'm dead. I meant to go up. Ah, uh, we're just gonna use that. Ah, <sighs> not enough damage, man. Almost like we picked four tanks or something. Ugh. <laughs> oh. well, let's just take a look at the stats. How did we do? Five kills, 70,000 damage. Yeah, they just totally damage diffed us. Alright, let's do a party swap now. If you want to join, say your name in the chat. Um... Yay. Uh, Silixer MC. Ah, it helps if I can spell it right. There we go. Uh, OG Silver Fox. Since only fast firing champions, here is a randomized build for Koga Harsh training three surprise three something to prove four trigger happy four wins embrace one and go for adrenaline junkie. All right, I guess I can try that out then. Appreciate the donation very much. Uh, Concorp. There we go. And Rose Stasser <laughs> 999. I'm pretty sure that's just Rose Star 999. Unless the typo is a real thing. No, it's not. <laughs> there you go. All right, let me make that build then. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Koga. Where is Koga? There's Koga. Koga. Uh. <laughs> Wait, what is this build? Oh, right, that's just my Dragon Fangs build, right? I forgot I named it that. Okay, so Harsh Training 3. Elf card, I guess that's fine. Uh, Surprise 3. This one, Ammo After Shadow Step. Okay, not the greatest Ammo card. But at least there is one. Something to prove 4. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Trigger Happy 4. Ooh, alright, I can buy Life Seal with that. And Wind's Embrace 1. That's the healing card, right? Yeah, I actually remember that. Okay. Well, uh, not a super good build, but at least there are a few good points in it, I guess. I am happy to see Trigger Happy in there. That's a nice card to have. So let's use that, and let's go. You not typo? No, it says Rose Stasser 999 in the chat message. 
I was sort of toxic when I back capped. I apologize. It was honestly an accident. I didn't mean to TP, but it worked out. Oh no! Don't ever apologize for back capping. <laughs> That was, a, that was a good job, although I have to say I was very disappointed <laughs> that we had three tanks back there. I was chasing down Imani because she was ulting, right? And I'm Ruckus, that's my job, I'm a flank. But then I look back and it's just like, what? Guys, <laughs> what? Why? Why did we do that? All right, uh, what am I doing again? Right, Koga, here we go. Koga. Yeah, yeah, you're going to look stupid no matter what. Cheers to the game's danger. First time being able to get in the party. Been watching for you to see the go. Yeah, GG's. I am an off tank. I wasn't supposed to so be there. Sad, I mean, uh, yeah, we we were all playing kind of off tank builds, but still, like, even like I, I when I play Scorch, for example, I make sure that I'm paying attention to point when I need to, and the same is said for every tank, basically. And I looked back, I saw three tanks back there, and so I was like, okay, I can chase Imani, because I'm Ruckus, I have mobility, she's ulting, I know where she is, I can just... So... Yeah. I, for one, uh, do not claim responsibility for that failure there. No Alright, uh, we're gonna do Adrenaline sure Junkie here, randomize her build, and... No items were actually suggested, right? Let me double check. Yeah, no items. So I can just get whatever I want. Cool. Um, I'm going to do this because it's funny trigger happy. And I guess also just do some death hands. What the heck? Let's be a very silly Koga today because I feel like it. Uh, it, no, there's not actually double XP going on right now, because there's triple XP going on right now, Sersky. <laughs> so, yeah, it's even better than you thought. It's a ludicrous amount of XP right now. Overwatch 2 made me improve solo Scorch. Oh boy. Uh, you know what? I stopped playing Overwatch 2 and I feel better for it. I wish I didn't waste money simping for somber skins, but, uh, yeah. What's in the past is in the past, and, uh, yeah. It's just, it's nice to not have to play that game anymore. I mean, at the same time, I wish I, it didn't have to be that bad, but, like, you know, just not playing it has been good for me, I think. Hi, Con. I'm just gonna jump around and gotcha. Let me pop up here, and let's just harass Vivian. Uh, Alright. Default Victor skin. I didn't check the levels, because I was busy talking with chat. Is that a... Is the matchmaking weird right now? I don't know. Is that a low-level Victor? I don't usually see the default Victor skin, unless it's low-level. Did Andrew plug in Ruler? Was he always this clean? Oh, I mean, it's just Koga. He's pretty easy to aim with, you know. And it's not like they have evasive characters either. They have Victor and Vivian and Betty LaBamba and Khan. And Ye. Like. Hi! <laughs> Backed into a corner there. Got a little bit of ammo back. Yeah, that card's just not nearly as good as the uh, agility ammo card, the dash card. I used to run that, like, way back in the day. I don't remember if it was, like, better back then, but nowadays, nah. It's just not worth it. Uh, shoot underneath the shield. There we go. Gotcha. And yeah, that's why I'm also buying Deft Hands this match, because it's just... It's really nice on Koga, considering how much he shoots. Yeah, we can really just drain so much ammo for the ammo quest with this guy. Maybe I should switch the title of the stream to Koga Gaming and just play Koga, because this is working out a lot better. Game is giving you your free win. Oh, and someone pulled up the levels. Okay, great. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Vivian unranked, Ying unranked. Oh, the entire enemy team is unranked. Oh, yeah, they must be new players then. Or, uh, at the very least, hyper casual players. Okay. It's no problem. Well, um, I wish it showed the levels. Because, you know, people can be unranked and still be good at the game, so I don't. It's, it's not a perfect indicator. I wish someone. I wish someone paid more attention to the levels than I did. Oh god. <laughs> ah, 
Yeah, let's just get some more death hands, get some more life rip, let's head out. No, Mag Dump 7 is not better. The reason is... Yeah, it might seem like you're expending 40 ammo with Mag Dump, but you're actually expending 4. Because he fires 4 shots. Uh, and it's just... It's a bit weird how the math works out. The point is... Champions like Koga and Ruckus, just... Crisp, clean, fast-firing champions are your best bet. Bar none. I'm just gonna ult him. Yeah. Just clean that up. Oop. She is just in that ultimate. Yeah, I think we got new players here. Ooh, just absolutely dinged him. Yeesh. Where is he in gone? Oh, there she is. Hello. Yeah, Loki, I might change the title of the stream. <laughs> Koga's kind of fun, not gonna lie. Why am I switching into claws? I don't need to switch into claws. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing right now? Oh, he just, like, turned around. I thought I was going to hit shield damage there. Alright. We had over here. Yeah, we got Betty here. Let me dash out of the hail bomb. She's the only one actually being evasive. It's strafing. It's crazy. Can only view champion levels after a match ends on Guru. Oh, I was reading chat. I didn't even realize. Okay, Khan just missed. Um, great. <laughs> Yeah, can also use the, uh, the Idobot or the uh, Paladin's Assistant to get it that way. I think it's pretty obvious now, though, so, yeah. Let's just move on to the next match and hope that it has better matchmaking than this, because this is pretty mean. Whoever approved Ammo Math needs a performance evaluation. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, it makes sense from a, uh, a programming standpoint, because if he fired... 40 bullets in that span of time, like 40 individual ticks of damage, that would be a lot of math and a lot of work for the game, and it'd just be kind of an, un an unoptimized way to do it, even if it is the most accurate to the sense of what the ability is actually doing. But yeah, in practice, it's just four shots. Uh, and you can see that, because there's four instances of damage, and each of them does 400 damage or whatever it is. That was kind of a brutal game. Um, but yeah, I think we'll, I think <laughs> I think we'll play some Koga uh, instead of Ruckus today because this is working out so much better. So there we go. Update the title of the stream. Woohoo! I have queued for every game mode, and thus far we have only gotten Siege. I even threw test maps in there. No test maps today. Mm. All right. Siege. Select oh, champion. speak of the devil. Quickly. All right. <laughs> there we go. You're gonna look stupid no matter what. And uh, let me switch the skin. You know, I haven't used the gold skin in a while for Koga, so let's bring that one out. And... Yeah. <laughs> kind of a... It's always been kind of a weird gold skin, because the gold is really desaturated on this skin. I think it's the lightest shade of gold in the game. I just... I don't understand all the discrepancies with these gold skins. It's so weird. Oh, someone wants me to use the default skin. Okay, fine, whatever. Fine! Jeez. No, I didn't play Rocker again. It was fun the first time, but I wasn't really interested in trying it that much the second time. Let the blood I, I've never begin. been a, a huge limited time mode guy. Like, I'll play them a few times and then just kind of go back to the regular game. Well, we have no tank. Hopefully that'll be okay. Oh yeah, I'm looking at the levels. Who's the low level in our party then? I don't actually even know. It's not Rose Star, is it? Rose Star is actually kind of the suspicious one here. Level 7 Corvus, no border. Oh, God. Or maybe it's just test map matchmaking. I mean, test maps aren't going to have any matchmaking, so maybe that's what we're running into new players this time. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to play normal Koga this time. Uh, Adrenaline Junkie. We have Geno's Corvus, so I'm definitely playing Trigger Happy here. And I'm going to do the same combo as last match. And we're just going to troll. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, a Genos mark with Luminary plus a Corvus mark. He's using the Lifesteal card. Once I max out Life Rip, that's going to incur just crazy diminishing returns. I actually, I think it's better to run Shadow Tribunal 5. And honestly, these days, I've taken Grand Design out of my build completely. But if you are going to use Grand Design, I usually end up... Yeah, still maxing out Shadow Tribunal. 
12.5% is just so small in today's economy. That's why I think life rip cards need to be buffed. Because the life rip item scales up to 60% now, and most life rip uh, uh, cards just don't scale that high. And so they just get eaten by diminishing returns. It feels like you don't want to run them together. And also, when life rip is so strong, if you have a life rip card that scales so low, it just... It, it doesn't feel worth it to run it, you know? Also, that BK got domed. <laughs> so easy to headshot BK, man. There we go, gotcha. Me dash. There's the double. Beautiful. I'm new to the game. Will you maybe explain the game real quick on what agents I could learn first? I want to look up to some streams to get uh, to get a bit know of the game. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Paladins, um, we are playing test maps right now, but it's basically just the regular siege mode, except on a blockout map. Uh, and the way the core siege game mode works, which is the main game mode you'll be playing in this game, you have uh, basically the first team to score four points wins. You get a point for capturing the objective, and then once you capture the objective, you get another point for pushing the payload through. Or, if the enemies capture the objective, and you have to defend, you get a point for defending the payload push, and not letting them push it through. You can't win the game on a defense. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. As far as champions to learn, they're called champions in this game, the, uh, the heroes. I assume you're coming from Apex, then? No, those are legends. Uh, heroes? Wait. Heroes are Overwatch, right? Or did you say Agents? My brain is itchy. Agents, yeah. Gosh, I don't even know what game has Agents. Is that Valorant? <laughs> um, yes! Uh, yeah, the, the champions in this game that are best to learn, I mean, there are a ton that fit pretty much any play style you want. So I always recommend go to the shooting range, because there you can try out any character you want without even owning them. Uh, and just play around with who you think is uh, interesting, and go from there. There is a meta in this game, obviously. You have uh, supports like Ying and Grover who are really good. You have tanks like, well, Khan and Torvald that are really good. But then for point tanks, you also have like Barrack, Fernando, and basically most tanks in the game are pretty good right now, honestly. Um, and then for damage champions, I mean, Leon's really, really good right now. BK is always super good. Ooh, nice ultimate. And most flanks are also pretty good. But um, yeah, it really just depends on who you want to play because you can play any character in this game well and. Uh, Still do good with them if you have enough skill, right? Do not become a meta slave like Andrew says. Exactly, yeah. Unless you enjoy playing uh, what's meta, in which case um, there are plenty of tier lists online. I don't have an updated tier list on my channel yet. Um, the last one was from a few updates ago, and it's uh, it's outdated for quite a few characters. But when the next update drops, I'll be making a new tier list then. And one last thing, um, there are a lot of mechanics in this game that go poorly explained in the game itself. I have a playlist on my YouTube channel, which you can access by going to exclamation mark YouTube. It's called the Paladin's Beginner's Guide Playlist, and if you go there, there are a bunch of videos that explain a bunch of mechanics in the game. They explain, like, the item store, uh, anti-healing, which is this mechanic that you see on the bottom of your scoreboard, diminishing returns, all of that stuff, so... Uh, it's a pretty good resource for new players. I recommend watching it. Uh, there's a, a lot of content there. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna go in. Hey, Vicky! Oh, he doesn't even know how to run. Alright, I'm gonna take test maps out of the queue. If we're getting really bad matchmaking like this. <sighs> Classic limited time modes being so problematic. Man. No, I have a dash. Oh, I actually dashed too early. Okay, well, I can dodge the stun anyways. There we go. Thank you for all the kindness and help. Yeah, no problem. And if you have any specific questions about a mechanic or a champion or whatever, feel free to ask. It's always a bit hard for me to give, like, a general advice because the game is so complex. But, um, yeah, if you need help with any specific thing, I'm here. Just, yeah, ask any question you want. <laughs> Don't listen to them. You should main Ash. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, and there's going to be all those players who are like, Oh, you should main my main, because my main is the best. Alright. Well. There's the Tripski. I'm just going to charge down BK. Can I get a quad? Nah, I think I'm too late for it. Ooh. Flying away! 
He's got the heels. No. Okay, there we go. Got him. Let me just bolt. Oh, man. She doesn't know to shadow travel for that. This is rough. Alright, well, vaporize Victor. I mean, my KDA is going to be freaking insane this match. I haven't even died. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Paladins. Very, very silly. Eevee is the most beginner-friendly flank. See, that... Okay, that's genuinely bad advice, Stealthy. <laughs> I don't know if this player is still here, but... Um, yeah, no, Eevee is the hardest flank in the game besides, like, Fatu. Both of them are, I would say, the hardest flanks to master. They're really good if you want a high-skill ceiling character, and I recommend playing them for that. And I am an Eevee main, and I love her. But, uh... Yeah, not exactly super good for beginners. <laughs> I suppose if you want some easy champions to learn the classes, I can also recommend those. I would say Fernando's the best beginner-friendly tank. Really easy mechanically, and really simple to grasp. And he does everything you want in a tank. Lost Fair donated one dollar. Every time I fight, you always tell my team it might be GG's. I get in your games against you all the time, and I've only ever beaten you twice. Do you also just have people type their user yeah. in to be on your team? Yeah, that's basically the way I do it, is I, uh... Yeah, I just have people type in their names to join the party every now and then. I usually switch every hour. And, yeah, then go from there. Andro's skill ceiling is greater than Vatu's skill ceiling. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I agree. I think Vatu has more skill expression. Because he doesn't have a defensive ability, necessarily. And he's also primarily projectile-based. He's got a lot of... Mobility to manage. I I think he's. I think he's higher, but I mean, they're. Androxus does have a very high skill uh, ceiling. That's for sure. I would say his skill floor is also lower than Vatu's and Navy's by a good margin. Back to what I was saying about good beginner characters. Yeah, Fernando is probably the best beginner tank. Super easy to grasp. He's a good point tank. He can also off tank and play aggressive. As far as supports go, Saris is the easiest support to play. Uh, good at learning the good at learning the class, even though she's not necessarily the strongest support. Um, just pick Soul Collector, this talent, and just you'll do fine. Uh, and then for flanks and damages, if you're controller versus keyboard and mouse, the good flanks and damages will change because controllers really benefit from hit scans, whereas keyboard players can more easily use projectiles. Um, so if you're on controller, characters like Koga, Lex, and Talos are really easy and really powerful. Uh, Zin is also, on both platforms, really easy. A super beginner-friendly flank. And there's also, I would recommend, if you want to get into the higher skill flanks, such as Eevee and Vatu and Maeve, uh, Androxus is actually a good starting point for that, because he is, uh, relatively easier to get into while still being a pretty medium skill floor, I would say. But he also has a lot of room for the skill ceiling to go up, and plenty of people made Androxus. He's one of those popular characters in the game, so yeah, he's uh, excellent. And then for damage champions, the damage roster is a bit weird. Easy damage champions are a dime a dozen. You have Tyra, Victor, Vivian. I mean, all of them are really easy. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> like, I guess it's more like... Uh, which damage champions are hard rather than which damage champions are easy, because I would say most of them are pretty easy. Uh, BK has a very high skill floor, uh, because he's got very complex projectiles. One of the hardest, but one of the most rewarding damage champions in the game. Drogo's one of the highest skill damage champions in the game. Imani, one of the highest skill damage champions in the game. And I suppose, I guess a lot of these other damage champions, like the snipers, will, be get, will become a little bit harder if you don't have, like, good aim, but... I mean, if you're coming from Valorant, you probably are going to be just fine with any of these hit scan characters, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Alright, let's keep going, and bye-bye test maps. Just do the regular cues. You want a good movement build for BK? I got you. Never mind, I don't got you. Okay, let me let me go to Discord then. <laughs> uh, ba -ba 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 Koga. Okay. Uh, let me see. Paladin's build, or right, Paladin's loadouts? Ah, there we go. Bomb King. There we go. Alright, let me show you. Uh, I have the Nitro HP build. This is my serious Nitro build. 
We have Backdraft and Shock and Awe as our main sources of mobility here. Shock and Awe at level 4, Backdraft level 5, King's New Cloak level 4 for max health, and then Air Blast and Reinforced Casing as fillers. If you want instead to go for just pure speed and drop the health card, then this is what I use. I basically just swap Air Blast and King, King's New Cloak, so I have Air Blast to level 4 now. Very easy. And yeah, obviously Royal Subjects. <laughs> That's kind of a no-brainer. I, I know about game mechanics and all, but just not Paladins. So, like Apex with run and gun I saw. Yeah, there are plenty of run and gun characters. Koga's actually kind of one of those characters. Um, if you just say in his SMG stance, he's basically kind of like Tracer from Overwatch. Uh, with plenty of dif uh, differences, but still, the core gameplay of just like shooting and dashing is kind of there. Uh, and yeah, there are plenty of hit scans for that. Like, if you want someone who's just mostly gun-based, obviously the default character you've already played, Victor, he's that. Um, there's Tyra, who I would say is a bit better than Victor in terms of the meta. Well, I uh, opponent. The and then there's also, yeah, me. I mean, depending on the type of gun you want, there's also there's snipers. I would say Strix is the better of the two snipers right now. There's Strix and Knessa, I would say Strix is better. <laughs> Uh, there's also, you have Octavia for your kind of uh, marksman rifle yeah. style character. She can be pretty powerful. There's also Leon. She's really good right now. So, yeah. The battle is about to begin. Vivian is super hard. No, <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> the card that causes them to explode on any surface, is that a bad card? That's really based on personal preference, whether you want to run Jolt or not. That's the name of the card. So long. I do not like the card in my builds, and I don't play it. Five, but some four, people swear by the card, three, they like it, so... Two, just use whatever you find to be comfortable. I find it much easier to do rollouts without Jolt, personally. But, yeah. You just do whichever you prefer. Okay. Well, uh... We do not have a lot of people pushing up on the right side. I'm gonna try and take out that Betty if I can. She's got a lot of healing, though. Thankfully, they have a Ray as their healer, which uh, Koga absolutely counters Ray. So, <laughs> we should be in pretty good hands as far as dealing with her, as long as I can kill this stinking Betty. Alright, good job, Ash. I'm running away. Um, let me just do some damage to Furia here. There we go, got her. Let me dash real quick. Delete the Ray. There we go. Two supports down. Let me fire on Kasumi, actually. I already have my ult, so let's just pop that. No more Fernando. Haha. -ha. Woo! Run away. Okay. Uh, there we go. Gotcha. Nice. We have taken control of the match. Let me do Daft Hands too. Then I'll max out Life Rip from there. We gotta be spamming bullets today because of the trial, so. Come here. Ray. Ray. Hi. How you doing? Not doing very well, I see. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh wow, I've totally failed that walk climb. <laughs> Hello. Fair Sky donated one dollar. Now Vivian Death takes more skill than Maze, Eevee, and Batu. Trust. Just holding down left and right click with Vivian is just so difficult. Facts. Honestly, it's hard to argue with that. You've changed my mind. I forgot how much mechanical dexterity it takes to uh, to press two buttons on your mouse at the same time. My, my apologies. I, I have been corrected. Um, okay, let's get some more life rip. Hello! Oh boy, that's that's terrifying. Please stay over there. Uh, ooh, that's on me. We're gonna dash. Probably a bad idea to be in here. I'm gonna try and... Oh man, they're just immortal. <laughs> Okay, well, all their immortality is up now, so I should be able to just roll over Furia. Ray is dead. There we go. Good. Boom. Oh, hello. Can't read chat. I've got Kasumi here. Yeah, but there we go. We are just rolling these guys right now. I don't even know if this is necessarily a matchmaking diff. I think it's more team comp diff. They don't really have anything to deal with Koga. So I'm just free back here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh no, that actually hit. 
Okay, well done. Show them no mercy. Is there a video explaining every character in the counters for it? Uh, no. At least not on my channel. I don't know if anyone else has that. No more screwing around. Uh, that would be like a multiple yeah, hour of so movie hard for me to make. Weapon is a fast firing automatic um, weapon, and it's so hard to land any shot space whew. with rolling eyes, crying shark, fearful. Uh, if you want, like, resources for a character... I mean, I have videos on every single champion on my channel. Multiple of them. So, I would say, maybe, uh... What you could do is just, like... Go to my channel, go to the search bar, and then just look up, like... Koga, for example. Or Furia, or whichever character you want. Is there a voice chat in the game? Yeah, there is, but it's a bit weird. Um... I don't know why they've done it like this. And honestly, I should ask them to change it. <laughs> uh, try and get a movement going. Get a petition started to change it. Um, there is voice chat in the bot matches that you do at the start of the game. You might have even heard somebody who accidentally left their mic on. right? But then for regular casual matches such as this, there is no voice chat between random players. right? Randos just like... If I wasn't in a party right now and said I had four other random players, they wouldn't be able to hear me. But if I am in a party, like I am now, I can push my push to talk like this and just talk to other people, and they could talk back. So, it works in a party in casuals, but not for randos in casuals. But then, when you go to ranked, it works just like normal. So in ranked, you're back to, oh, you can just talk with everybody, and it's normal. Just like how it works in every other game. So it's really strange, but yeah, there is voice chat. And especially in ranked, I recommend using it to try and coordinate with your team. Fair Sky donated one dollar. Who do you think is the easiest character in the game? And don't say Vivian cause it'll definitely prove you wrong trust. I think Mailstorm Brock is a no brain play. Well, uh, I mean if Vivian's not the easiest character in the game, because she's the hardest character, obviously, then I think uh someone like maybe Eevee, or maybe if we want to go to like support, maybe like I don't know, Mega Potion Pip would probably be like the easiest uh playstyle in the game, definitely. Definitely, Winky Face. <laughs> we need to stop this! We're spreading misinformation when there's new players abound. Oh, God. <laughs> Fernando, where are you going? Sir. Okay. Oh, my God. There are so many difficult supports like Saris Crying, Crying Lilith. Yeah. Ying, Pip, and Damba are a lot easier than that difficult Saris. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. For real, for real. Oh. Uh, Alright. I am... Wow, where is my tracking gone? What if we actually shoot Ray instead of missing her? There we go. Gotcha. There's the double. Let me shoot it. Kasumi, just to get the lifesteal going. There we go. I need to dash. Oh, oh that Corvus pocket is delicious. Is he dark gift? Oh my gosh, he is. I have privilege. Yes. I didn't even realize. <laughs> there we go. No wonder I'm 39 and 1. Jeez. This is kind of toxic, I have to say. Hello. Gosh. Steamrolling these guys. Ah, I kind of want to take King of the Hill out of the, the thing now, too. Whoa! Oh, boy. Yeah, that's going to be GG. Just get, like, two more kills and we have this. Hello. Hello. Okay. Oh, man. I'm still getting, like, so much life steal. I'm getting 20 per shot in cauterize and 54 per shot without cauterize. That's just mental. Jeez. Going against Koga's Ray is so frustrating because what are you supposed to do other than die? Yeah, exactly. But in fairness... I mean, Ray hard counters so many other characters, so it makes uh -huh. sense that there's someone designed to just destroy Fair her. Fair Sky too. donated one dollar. On a serious note, who's your least favorite character to play? I you have hate plenty playing of this characters character because it's enjoy. genuinely boring. I mean, just go down here. Let's see who who down here do I not enjoy playing? Well, let's see. Uh, Talus, Lex, Tiberius is kind of boring, but I wouldn't say I hate him. Uh, Vivian, Kasumi. Okay, not Nyx. I do enjoy Nyx. I just, you know, she is the newest tank, so she's still down here. Um, not a huge fan of Caspian. Not a huge fan of Dredge, although I wouldn't say I hate him either. I just don't know how to do the skillful stuff with him. Um, 
I don't enjoy playing Yagaroth because she's just weird. Not a huge fan of Terminus. Not a huge fan of Willow, but that's more because she's bad <laughs> rather than I don't like her kit. Uh, this twat. <laughs> okay, he, he is kind of fun to play, but it makes me feel guilty when I do good with him. But then when I do bad with him, he feels really bad, so it's like, uh, uh Not a fan of Strix. And I think we're pretty much caught up. Yeah. Alright, uh, I mean, I, I think I still need to play King of the Hill for a trial, though. That's the thing. Yeah, I do. I guess I'll keep it in then. Uh, gross. Aha! Oh, yeah, Sati Coin Spam, gosh. Sir Sky donated $1. You should definitely play Vivian to prove that she's the hardest. I don't wanna. <laughs> no. I guess I will. She is one of those ammo characters who I can just spam with. I'll run an infinite ammo build. Although, actually... No, I won't run an infinite ammo build because I don't think that'll work. Because it doesn't consume ammo. The cards specifically say a chance to not consume ammo. So that actually would be really bad for this. So I guess I'll buy Deft Hands then. <laughs> I appreciate all the donations, by the way. That's really nice. Do you think they overbuffed Leon this patch? I'm not convinced that they did. I know she's banned a lot. I know she's picked a lot. I know she's doing pretty good. But I think... I still... I like the way in which they buffed Leon. I think it's much more preferable to buffing her in some other way, like the auto-aim or eminence or anything like that. And I think... Part of it is, she's they naturally good against flanks, they will break. and so flanks now have a character that's actually causing them trouble. Whereas before, Shaolin was kind of the only other character who really was like super, super good against flanks in terms of actually being strong in the meta. And I also think it's a case of a lot of damage champions just not really being as good as flanks. And now Leon is here, and she's buffed, and she's also good against flanks, and so she feels really good and really powerful. I think we're just not used to that. <laughs> I, I think instead of maybe nerfing Leon, I think instead it would be a good idea to maybe buff up some other damage champions to make them feel, you know, better too. Because in my opinion, for a long time now, flanks have been a I lot stronger than hands. damage champions, Aha! with very few exceptions. Left me no like obviously, Bomb King is still really one dollar. good. Good Drogo's still really good in the right Vivian. hands, although Even he also gets counted, for you. So, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, all right, we'll do. Booby trap? I guess I'll just do a regular booby trap build then. Um, although I'll probably just use this build instead. Yeah. And then we will also grab some deft hands. I'm just going to spam because I'm silly. I'm so silly. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see the I didn't see the requests. I forgot I had requests turned on. I'll get the mount request next. And uh, I'm not playing Vivian again, so I guess I'll just refund that one. Sorry. Nerf Leon's auto aim damage, then she's more skill based. But her auto aim damage is just. It's been 400 for years. I, d I don't think that's the answer. I. I am not convinced that you would need to nerf. I, I just. If you really wanted to nerf her, and I don't really even think that's necessary, right? Then you would just walk back some of the changes. Like maybe make her a little bit squishier again, make her more of a glass cannon. Especially because, guys, you have to keep in mind, Leon gets hard countered by armor plating, which is really strong right now. And armor plating is just, it counters every single ability she has. It's like the number one counter to all of her bursts. So, in a way, she almost needs these buffs to not just be even more screwed than she would have been uh, if she just, you know, this armor plating buff went through and then she just did get buffed, right? That's kind of a weird way of saying it. Kind of bad at talking today for whatever reason. But yeah, the point is, like, if she didn't get buffed, armor plating would destroy her. And she still gets destroyed by armor plating once you ramp that up, so... Like, it was also necessary considering the changes they did to the item store. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Let me get some more nimble. Like, I genuinely think it would be nice to give some other weaker damage champion some love, rather than just, oh, Leon's finally good again, let's immediately cut her down. Like, maybe you could also give some buffs to, I don't know, like Cassie, or you could uh, actually buff the snipers because they've been dead in the water for years. 
Of course, you have to be careful with that, obviously. But, like, Strix and Knessa are basically just dead this patch with armor plating being as strong as they are. Like, you buy armor plating versus Strix, he does nothing to you. He takes, like, four shots to kill characters now. It's ridiculous. If they build for a health build, anyways, and then buy armor plating. Like, what the heck? How, as Strix, are you supposed to kill a Tyra who has 3,000 hit points with mercy kill damage reduction and armor plating on top of that? You just can't. I know that's an extreme example, but still. So, ah. Like, that would be the direction I would take. Hi, how are you? Oop, that's a swarm. Let me not stand inside of that. Let me just keep throwing these reveals out. And bing, there we go. Perfect. Don't buff cancer things. Yeah, no, that's why you say you have to be careful about buffing snipers. Some love. But, Hope you have a so. great day. Yo, thank you so much for the 400 bits. I appreciate that so much. Awesome. How generous. Oh, one of my drones died. Get a reveal there. Strix with aim assist PC is OP. Yeah, but... I think aim assist also needs to be tackled. And didn't they say in, like, a recent, like, blog post that they were looking into that recently? I said recently twice. I don't know why I'm so bad at speaking today. <laughs> I'm still getting used to my new headphones. So I think that's partially why. I can barely hear myself. It's weird. But if aim assist gets nerfed, then that's even more of a reason to buff a character who's floundering right now. I don't know what Strix's win rate is, but I can't imagine it's super good. And Knessa has to be even worse, because she's just worse than Strix. I think most people would agree right now. So, yeah. It's just... Uh, I'm gonna die. Ooh, never mind. Lilith OP. <laughs> Thank you, Lilith. Especially because another thing is, you have to think about, okay, every single healer got their healing output buffed in Season 6 last year. Literally every single healer is stronger now in some way, shape, or form. Some of them dramatically stronger. Like Ying and Io, right? And when healing gets buffed, but damage remains roughly the same, all of a sudden you have your damage champions feeling like. And... So, another thing is, like, oh, yes. Like, let's say, let's use Strix as an example. Strix has been doing 1,200 damage almost since his release. On release, he did do 1,300 damage, but that quickly got nerfed down to 1,200 again. But that was at a time when healing was way, 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 way weaker. And especially over the past year or so, healing has dramatically increased. So perhaps, to keep up with the times, would it not make sense to maybe rebuff him up to 1,300 damage? Especially with armor plating as well. Like, Strix's damage has stayed the same for five or six years now, but everything has increased in terms of health pools, healing, damage reduction. And so, why has the damage not gone up with that? It's, uh... Like, that. that's kind of where I'm coming from with this whole plot process. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If there are any new players still around, you have to learn how to play Eternal. No, no, no. And even has a bad named No, bad, bad stealth. Bad, no, stop it. Bad, bad, bad. No, absolutely not. No. Do not listen to stealthy. Eternal is garbage. I have a whole Azan guide. Guide I just made. It's an amazing guide, and uh, you should listen to that guide. Instead of that, Eternal is worthless. Piece of garbage. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, have you tried everyone in the team buying trigger scent? Doesn't it proc to assists? Yeah, it does proc on assists. It's more of a champion by champion basis whether you actually buy trigger scent, though. Because some champions you just don't need it on. It's a 15% damage increase, and if you're playing someone like Fernando, you don't really get that much extra damage because his base damage is already so low. Like, with Trigger Scent, it's one of those items, just like Life Rip, just like Wrecker, where it scales really good on characters who do a lot of damage, but it's not as good on characters that don't. You know, you wouldn't buy Wrecker on Fernando. So, would you buy Trigger Scent? I mean, I don't really think so. But yeah, on, like, Vivian, I suppose, yeah, maybe you would buy Trigger Scent. Because you'd buy Wrecker on Vivian. She's a pretty decent shield buster, you know? That's, that's always the top process I go to when buying these items. Oh, I popped him up a little bit, I think. Actually, uh, maybe I didn't. Oh, that was, that was kind of confusing. Kind of weird. 
me throw that back there. Hopefully that gets Moji. Uh, oh, I hit Lilith instead. Okay. Well, great. Yep. Oh, Geno stiff. Uh oh. Huge Fernando ult. I appreciate that. I guess I'll pop my ult. Actually, does Vivian ult persist between rounds? I hope he doesn't destroy it. Oh, he did destroy it. I guess we'll never know then. <laughs> That's a shame. Do you like any ship? I like Caspian X Eevee. People ship that? I actually haven't seen that ship. Um, I don't know. I'm not a huge oh. shipper. Like, I know there are some popular ships, like Corvora, Corvus X Vora, and uh, I called it Corpion because it kind of sounds like Scorpion, but I guess the official, or I guess more popular name is Casvis, which is Caspian Corvus. Um... I like Inara Exterminus, which is one of the only official ships, just because it's sweet, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Atlas X Yagroth. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> Seven and murdering people. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good ship, too. Rombirius. Yeah, that's another popular one. Also, I thought Ying X Shaolin was an official ship from, like, lore way back in the day. Recently, I don't remember who it was, but it's like, someone got me second-guessing whether that's actually real or just not. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. But um, that's always been a ship in my mind. Uh, here, take this. Oh, he's so low. Yes, there we go. Good. Yes, finish them off. I will just continue spamming, for I am Vivian. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. Not the soil. Anyways. Poe X Lee. Wait a minute. <laughs> Moji X Genos. Okay, guys. No, no, no. No, no. Moji X Nobody, because that's illegal. Let's not. That's like, that's as bad as including Willow or Talus in the ship. Oh, God. None of that. Okay. Shields up! Do the damage! I want that Tiberius. He's so low. I don't think I have him, though. Ooh, she's one! Oh, she walked into the thing! I'm gonna throw this down. Uh, that didn't really do much. Okay, well, let's just delete you. Put the shield back up. I want this Terminus. Got him. There we go. Tiberius! Boop. Moji X Ray simply because they are the same race. That's pushing it. I mean, I have I, we just don't know how Moji, how old Moji is, but I'm pretty sure like she takes on a pretty childlike form. So I, I'm just that's a no go for me. Like I'm, let's just not even mess with that, okay? I get that she's a fantasy creature, but still, it's it's too sus for me. Too sus. Questionator X Wiro, yo! <laughs> yes! Oh man. That's, uh. That's silly. Ah! By that logic, Stealthy X Jiki, huh? I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that, Chief. Oh yeah, Lex X Andro. I mean, I, I would never ship them romantically. I, I always think of them as kind of like an Obi-Wan X Anakin type dynamic. Like, they're brothers more than they are, like, you know, <laughs> lovers. Like, that would just be, uh, I don't know, that feels wrong to, like, put them in a lover category, you know? It, it's one of those, like, corrupted relationships where they used to be best buds, but then it got ruined by the whole, you know, Androxus getting corrupted thing. Oh, yeah, we can't do Lex X Atlas either. Yeah, no incest here. Ew. Gross. Aha! Andrew Chicken X Eevee. That's my favorite. Yes. Fair Sky donated one dollar. This my last one. Much love, Andrew. Been watching you since I think 2018. You helped me get mm. better at the game in every aspect, and you deserve more. I'll still be watching, but I gotta stop cause I'll keep going if I don't. <laughs> wow. I basically. 2018. Gosh, that's a long time. What was I doing in 2018? Actually, I'm curious now. Let me look up some videos. Uh, how would I even do that? Is there, like, a specific filter for date in YouTube Studio? I don't think there is. 
I guess I'll just do a bunch of scrolling then. <laughs> I want to remember what my videos were like back then. That's crazy if you've still stuck around that long. I really appreciate all the support. So much. Oh, wow. I was still doing the old style of thumbnail back then. Oh, wow. Dang. I remember some of these old videos. Oh, that was when I did the terrible video that I made a reaction to like a year ago. Top 5 Most Difficult Champions and Paladins. That was really terrible. <laughs> uh, oh, man. That was silly. Was this around the gold farming guide as well? I don't think it was. Oh, there was a Sonic Mania playthrough. Gosh. Dang. Oh yeah, the old intro too. Yeah, we can't forget the old gaming intro. <laughs> Top five most powerful bombs in Paladins. Gosh. So silly. So, so silly. Well. Uh, Alright, let's queue again. 18 kills there. Hey, we popped off. Yay! <laughs> uh, here we go. Queue, and let's get the purple whale out here now. Sorry, I missed that. Sky Whale, there you go. I remember wanting to play Cassie because he did that old Cassie build three years ago and then I was terrible with it. I don't even remember. Did I play, like, Exaction or something? Dang. It's crazy how long I've been doing this. 2018 was six years ago. Oh my god. I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm 22 years old. I'm going to retire soon at this rate. <laughs> uh, it's weird how time feels when you play a game for long enough. Like, Paladins is now officially, like, kind of an old game. And I feel like a grandpa in this game, even though I'm, like, <laughs> I'm barely in my 20s. Like, what? Okay. Yeah, Andrew retiring before 30. Yeah, I'm going to take my... Uh, I'm gonna take my YouTube revenue, where... Sage, <laughs> Do I even technically Korea. make minimum wage? <laughs> Is it technically... I, I don't know. I'm gonna take my YouTube revenue, add on my Twitch revenue, all that, I'm gonna retire with that. <laughs> uh, what, what, once I stop uploading videos, the revenue's just gonna go like... <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna make like... Uh, I'm gonna make $100 a month. Yes! <laughs> I can live on that. <clears throat> I'll move to, uh, I don't know, like... Kenya. <laughs> where where is a place where I could survive on a hundred dollars a month? I'll go to I'll just go to Haiti. There you go. I know I, I know I could survive on that much there. Easy. Yeah, I used to make videos on Terra Tech. Yeah, I used to be a variety streamer or a not streamer YouTuber if you could imagine. So crazy. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna look stupid no matter what. And I guess Don't technically I. <laughs> I mean, I am pretty much exclusively Paladins these days, but I always do, like, every few months just upload something else. Like, you know, we had the Overwatch video recently. Mostly it's just been Overwatch. But I think last year was the uh, TF2 video, I want to say. Or excuse me, not last year. The year before. 2022, right? Uh, I think that was the TF2 video, I want to say. I did a Sea of Thieves video one time. That was kind of interesting. The old Sunday Terra Tech video. Ah, oh, I remember that, yeah. <laughs> you can tell where I got it's a lot of my early influence drop. from. You know, ba based on the games I played at the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ooh, wow, they have a Torvald Nyx combo. Heavy damage dealers on controller. All right. Let's try and diff that. Adrenaline Junkie. Uh, do I want the healing build? Probably not. I think I want to go HP instead, because we've got Pip Heals... So no pocket for me. And I'm not going to be able to lifesteal off of the shields either. Which, we're definitely starting Wrecker and we're also getting Unbound. That's Nullify, but that's also, I'm looking at that Nyx. She's got the Root talent. So I do not want to get caught dead in that Root. Uh, and Osiris Stun as well, so pretty decent crowd control. Lex going back to Discovery. Yep. I mean, Heroism is dead, so you might as well. Five, and Shrapnel four, Victor, Man of Culture. Three, nice. Two, nice. One. You played a ton of Makoa back then. Every couple of videos would be about Makoa. Yeah. I don't play as much Makoa these days, but I do still. I, I just... Hitting satisfying hooks does not get old. I still love that so much. It's so much fun. Okay, I am not pushing them super hard at all. 
Oh, I kind of forgot Death Dance. I'm going to need some of that. Default Reload feels so bad. Okay. Uh, that Lex is low. I'm just on the wrong side of the map to fight him, though. They're getting so much space basically for free. I need to try and, like, flank around. It's pretty tough. Gotta get touch as well, but it's gonna be so hard with this solo tank Makoa, right? Alright, let me just burst you down. Finally, first blood! First blood happens after the point has been captured. That's that's just incredible. Thank you, appreciate that. Alright, Vald. I'm chasing you down. I'm chasing you down! Oh, my reload was weird there. There he is. Gotcha. Me back away. Hopefully, get a heal. Oh, thank you, Pip, so much. Appreciate that. All right, slam down on you. There we go. Huge damage. You're one of my favorite YouTubers. I'd be watching all your vids first time I caught you live. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Have you played Baldur's Gate? No, I haven't. I've been thinking about it. I see like, I, I see like clips of it every now and then. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I'm always super late to playing popular games. And the last super popular game I played was Elden Ring, and I didn't like it, so I'm also, like, kind of hesitant in that aspect, but... Yeah. Well... We'll see. Maybe I'll try it out. Recently, I've just been playing Sons of the Forest, because that's a game I actually was super interested in. I played it in Early Access, and they finally went full release recently. So... Yeah. I just started a fresh save, beat the game. I will admit... I was moderately disappointed by the ending of the game, but yeah, that doesn't take away from the gameplay. The gameplay was always the more fun aspect about it. Wow, she just doesn't shadow travel. Okay. Well. <laughs> Ooh, get off my pip! Woo! No! Okay. Baldur's is so worth it. Best RPG in a while. Yeah, I've heard great things. But then again, I also heard great things about Elden Ring, and then I played it, and it was super clunky, so... <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... It's a different game made by a different studio, so I, I shouldn't go into it, like, expecting that, I guess. Vice Paladin's not so famous, although it's better than others. Uh, well, quite simply, the game had a lot of uh, poor decision-making in the past. You had situations like OB64 that lost the game a lot of players. Like, OB64 was when the game went pay-to-win for a little bit. That was terrible. So you had uh, mistakes like that mixed with... You had some unfortunate circumstances around, like, bad servers, for example. There was a server fiasco. Where the game was basically, like, <laughs> almost unplayable around the start of the pandemic, which was actually pretty pivotal for the game, because that was when a lot of players were getting into video games at the start of the pandemic. They needed something to do. And so that hurt the game pretty hard there. Uh... And then also, on top of all that, Paladins from the start has been doomed to be less popular than Overwatch due to the simple fact that it's a more complicated game. And more complicated games often, if they're good, like Paladins is, do get a very dedicated audience of people who enjoy the systems. You know, people who enjoy talents, loadouts, items, all that stuff. But because there's all these added layers of complexity, it's also a lot harder to get into. Overwatch is pretty much just plug and play. You get Overwatch, download it, you have, well, okay, in Overwatch 1, you bought the game, you downloaded it, you had all the characters right from the get-go, now you have this whole weird unlocking system, right? But, uh, yeah, the characters are just, here's your abilities, now go. Shoot things. That's a lot easier to get into than a game like Paladins, and so... That doesn't make the game any less good. And you're still gonna get dedicated players, but it's just, it's not gonna be for everybody, right? Uh, Lex is over here. Let me try and stop this flank. I'm not his target right now. Although it seems he's just gone away. Oh, he got hooked. Okay. <laughs> I grazed him. Yes. Let's burst down you. Ooh, that's Saris right there. There's that shadow travel. Alright, I'm just gonna... Blast away. I'm gonna ult. No, your shadow travel is down, so you should die there. And now, yeah, Victor's back here. Ah, Lex. Okay. That sucks. Let me get some death pants now. It feels really bad playing without it, I have to say. I don't know if I should do life rip as well. It is kind of hard, you know, not being able to play super independent from Pip. 
But when he heals me, he does get me really nice and topped off, so I don't know. You can't resist me! Vicky, come back here. Oh. Okay, maybe I'll just blast away at Torvald. I think Vic's coming around the left again. Oh, he's just all the way back there. Okay. Well, I'll just settle with absolutely deleting Torvald then. Yeah, I should get some life rip. I just need to become self-sufficient. Oh, uh, thank you, Pip. Gotta get them off the point here. Huge damage. Nice dredge ult finish. Oof. A lot of damage. Good heals. Hi. Don't try and fight me, Saris. You lose. I am Koga. <laughs> Alright, thank you for that. Oh, no! Kill him! Yes. Good. Alright, I'm going super deep right now. I want that victor. There he is. Got him down. Huge. Okay. Oh, man. Just two tap me back up to full health. Pip is so good. Uh, ooh, come here. Yes, nice. Let's rush him down. Hello. Ooh, I didn't get the dash off the time. You heard the noise, but it didn't work. All right, we'll do Death Hands 2 Lifer 2. There we go. Totally oh. <laughs> read that's more complicated, but I think it makes it better. Don't talk about the servers, of course, the bugs. Yeah, well, I mean, you can't just ignore the fact that in Paladin's history, they've had bad servers. They've had bad bugs. That does downgrade the player experience. But yeah, I 100% am with you. That's why I, that's why I <laughs> stream the game, you know? Because, <laughs> yeah, it is a really good game at its core with all the customization and the really fluid gameplay as well. That is another great thing about Paladins that I feel like doesn't get talked about enough, but it is a major point in the game's favor. The gameplay is super smooth. There are some clunky characters like Octavia, but you also have a lot of champions that feel really good to play. Like, you know, just running around, running and gunning with Koga like this. It's very satisfying, but you also have really fluid mobility, fast, snappy stuff like Eevee. And, and that's really nice. I really grew to appreciate that, actually, after playing Elden Ring, because it was like, oh, wow. There's so much lockout on all the abilities and all the attacks and stuff like that. And just, uh, forced to play it on controller, pretty much, because there's not really good PC ports for actual, like, keyboard and mouse gaming. It's just, uh, don't like it. Locked at 60 FPS? What the heck? Why are you locking a game at 60 FPS in the year of our Lord 2022? Which is when it came out, right? Pretty sure? Ugh. And Overwatch also has that, to be fair. But, yeah. It's also another great thing about Paladins that can't be denied. Gee. Trying to read chat, Sarah. Leave me alone. It's nice to see you enjoy the game even when not streaming, because I play against you even when you're not streaming, like when you were playing Drogo's a couple days ago on the same map and I was Ying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, I think you might have caught me when I was recording videos, so I was technically working, because I have a Drogo's video set to come out. Uh, I think tomorrow, actually? I said that's at the start of the stream. I guess I'll say it again. Uh, I have some IRL stuff going on, so I won't be able to stream next week. Uh, but I still have a bunch of videos that'll come out at that time, so... Yeah. Uh, you'll still have content. But yeah, I sometimes play with friends, too. I mean, if I didn't enjoy the game, I wouldn't stream it. Which, I almost got to that point by the end of 2022, but then they managed to turn things around. I'm actually curious to see, uh, I, I published a poll on the community tab. I'm curious to see, uh, if people agree with me that the game is, has been getting better over the past, like, year or so. Okay, oh no, Pip's dead. This is why we have life rip- OH NO! The root! That was actually the first time I've been rooted the entire match. Crazy. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave, dodge and weave, yes! Strafing too good. Woo! Okay, let's uh let's take a chill pill. Hi. What's up? Oh, uh, thank you, Pip. Um, I don't know if I can touch though. Oh, I'm going for it. I got overtime. Oh, I have ult. Perfect. Ooh, all right, I'm getting off point now. Someone else has to touch there. Nice, just blow her to smithereens. All right, we retook control. Let's go around. What that Sarah? She's one. The leaf was blocking. The stinking leaves! Are you telling me my bullets can't penetrate through a leaf? Oi. This map. 
map is terrible. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh, she is just not gonna touch. We lost Makoa, but we still cap. GGs. I guess we'll have to see if I see me. Yeah, I guess. Imagine a timeline where Paladins is a flawless and very popular game and becomes the game of the year. Yeah, imagine a timeline where they didn't make all the mistakes that they did. No OB64. They actually didn't have their servers break. They spent a little bit more time making sure they polished up the bugs. Ah, oh, be so good. Well, 15 kills there. I am popping off with Koga today. Jeez. Uh, oh, 10,000 healing with Octavia. Dang. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Rosestar was actually playing a support there. Because <laughs> they also got low damage and low kills. Hey, <laughs> Wow, dang. What are you playing there? Was it just Asymmetric Warfare build? Oh, yeah, it was. Meditation. Hey. All right. Uh, I think we'll stop party now. It's been another hour. So let's get some more people in here. If you want to join, say a name in the chat. I will invite and, I guess, continue playing Koga. Because <laughs> apparently Koga is a lot more fun than Ruckus. Apparently. Didn't, didn't think I'd uh, be switching up like that today. I, not me. Uh, Lost Sayer. There you go. Bebo, the blue god. That one guy you know, underscore. There you go. Oh, you're in a match. You must leave your match for me to actually be able to invite you. You look amazing with that new haircut. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Glad to see a lot of uh, <laughs> good feedback about the haircut. Seen a few comments on my recent videos about it. Nice. I was almost kind of worried some people would be disappointed that I lost the barrack locks, but yeah, mostly positive. All right, let me try inviting again. That one guy you know. Hey, there you go. I think I had your mic on for a second because I just got ear blasted. What? Like my push to talk? Hmm. Okay. How's the progress? Yeah, let's check. Am I above 50% yet? Ooh, 56%. Yes! We just gotta keep playing Koga for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Uh. Uh. This quest is just so long. It's so long. Uh, I'm not necessarily using a speed build for Koga. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm just. I'm just kind of using like a regular ammo build, mostly. I'll show you in a sec. Stupid, no matter what. Might as well plug in the roller abuse the aim assist before it gets nerfed. <laughs> I could do that. Honestly, I don't feel like I need to. I feel like my aim has been mostly on point today. Let's switch up. I guess I'll just go from left to right. We started with default skin, gold skin, boss fight. Let's go dark retribution. <laughs> Keep on going to the right. Shmoove and shimmy our way on down. Ooh, Ram Ruckus. <laughs> Both of our tanks here, I guess, are also trying to do the ammo quest. Fair enough. Definitely the best tanks to do it. I just don't know why Ruckus wasn't working out for me earlier. It's so weird because I know he's a really strong tank, but those matches earlier, I just, I felt completely inept. Maybe I've become rusty on Ruckus. I mean, in all fairness, I have not played that much Ruckus recently. So maybe I just right. kind of forgot how. <laughs> Time to clean up as weird as that sounds. I, I, I don't know. It's really weird. Well, they've got a Barrack and a Pip. I'm very excited to dome them. I think it's also pretty easy to headshot Omen 2, if I recall correctly. And it's also Omen, so like, he should be easy to deal with. And Grover. I think I, think I just shred these guys here. I'm just going to go back to the Deft Hands Life Rip start, because that's just a silly, fun playstyle. Exactly, Reinhardt. Terminus is not good to expend 150,000 ammo. Oof. How did you get the quest where you have to deal two, uh, 25,000 damage in 30 seconds? I have a video, Justin, on my channel, exclamation mark YouTube, uh, in the chat, the if you want to get the link to that, um, Pray, I where I show exactly how I did it. Path. Uh... I, I played Drogo's for it. Drogo's is, I would say, the best character for it because of his, you know, just crazy amounts of area damage with combustible and salvos and stuff like that. Uh, 
you really just need a good comp for it. And I explain all the tips and advice in that video, so I recommend just watching that uh, for all the information. You gotta be persistent. It's a tough quest, but um, you just gotta know what, you, know what to look out for and then be diligent about playing. Alright, Adrenaline Junkie, SMG Healing. I'm gonna go back to Trigger Happy, because I'm gonna go Death Hands Life Rip. I'm just gonna run around the map and just shoot things. <laughs> Yay! Ying, who is she? I don't need her to heal me. I shouldn't say that, because then I'm gonna run back to her. She's gonna say, oh, Andrew said I don't need to heal him. Okay, and then I'm gonna die. <laughs> Blah! Alright, come here, Omen. Oh, hello. Ooh! What did I just get stuck on? I just tried to dash, and I, like, didn't go up. That was weird. Oh, I can't actually jump over that. Heck yeah. There we go. Get this guy out of here. Omen's up here. I want to be careful not to get thrown off the map, but uh, yeah, we can just delete him. Alright, let's go back to the point. Barracks here. Light him up. Yes. Koga Gaming. He's just so easy to aim with. Like... Ah, I feel like the spread also helps him out. I feel like he's kind of forgiving on that aspect. And yeah, no recoil, just... Feels so good. Well, I am dead. I guess I'll buy more Daft Hands and more Life Rip. Just max it out. Claw Koga is more respectable. It's a good playstyle, yeah. I have to agree. But at the same time, I do kind of like the SMGs. It's almost a guilty pleasure of mine at this point. Hello. Hello. You have to admit, like, when you just laser somebody's head, like Makoa, or Barrick, or Pip with this character, it's just, oh, mwah, so satisfying. Okay, that's a lot of people. We should be careful, but, uh, Grover's gone. I'm gonna ult. Ooh, two huge damage ults coming out here. They don't really get much value, though. There we go. Deleted. Pip's gone. Oh, here's somebody. Two people, actually. Focus down Grover? If I can. I ran out of bullets. He's one. There we go. Got him. Got the double. Where's Omen? There he is. Mm, deleted. Seriously, why is that so loud? It's almost louder than my guns firing. Okay, I don't know what his plan was. What is your plan, Grover? Man. King of the Hill on this map is the worst. Just spawn camp them. So sad. The game just decides not to let them spawn on the other side of the map for some reason. Yeah, they're literally... They can't leave spawn. <laughs> the spawning algorithm on this map is so broken. Let me just buy more items then. I will buy that, and then I'll probably max out life rip. I don't necessarily think I need Deft Hands 3 until later. Oh, man. That's just... That's nice. I almost one-clipped him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Brilliant! Good job! Can't even really fault him for that. Most people don't know there's like a little, uh... Little pit of water that you can fall into. There's no railing. Oh. Ooh, hello. Ooh, yeah, careful. Don't fall off the map again. Yeesh. Oh, there you are, Sky. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, thank you, Ying. I don't have this. She is actually doing more damage than me. Crazy. Whoa, that was weird. Alright, I think we're fine. Yep. Alright, we're pushing with Ruckus now. Let's go in. Here we go. Grover, come here. Omen. Uh, don't throw me off the map, please. Thank you. Gotcha. Now it's just Grover. Oh, this guy's here too. Wow, that's a bit excessive, but okay. I just stole all those kills. I just stole a triple kill off the back of Ruckus. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I love this map as Drogo's. I can go out of bounds. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Very funny. Lilith could go through the floor in a specific part of the map. I made a short about it. I don't think she can do it anymore. I think they patched it. I remember trying that, like... I don't know, a year ago? And yeah, it just didn't work, so... Hello! Got the Grover. 
I want to annihilate your head, Pip. Come here. here. Boom. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, this guy's going. Nice. Let me go after that barrack if I can. Or maybe we can force Grover to die. Does he get back in spawn? Oh, he does. Okay. <sighs> Why do they keep spawning in there? The point's all the way over there. Could it not spawn them on the other side of the map? What is going on, game? You're so goofy. Ooh. Oh, he's been Catalyst the whole time. I didn't even know. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Max these out. Let's get some Nimble. I want to go fast. Speedy Koga. Time's ticking. Guess what? I think I'm back. Uh, I'm not using my health build, I'm using my healing build. Let me show you the cards. I've got Memento 2, Something to Prove 1, Trigger Happy 4, Wanted 5, and Harsh Training at level 3. So, not quite max health, but it is, yeah, maximum ammo, and a lot of healing. And it pairs really well with life rip. Because you have 60% life rip on Koga. He does pretty high DPS with his SMGs. And then you increase that life rip by 20%. It's like 20% rejuvenate for your SMGs. And it's also just rejuvenate in general, so like when I'm shooting, I also get more healing from gain. And it works really, really well if I have a Genos Mark or a Corvus Mark. But it still works just fine with, you know, only life rip. Oh man. I'm just gonna keep spamming damage. I need to expend ammo and I need to get the fattest Koga ult of all time. JK. I only got one go with that. Uh, oh. Alright. Too many people I'm fighting by myself. Let's get more nimble. Not that it really matters. We're just going to win this. It's a real shame I still have to play King of the Hill for the quest. It is kind of boring after a while, just stomping matches over and over again. Hello. Ooh, well done. Well done. You live for now. And you make it back into spawn. Okay. Fair enough. Is that Deep Roots? Oh, yeah, it is. Bro's playing the worst Grover talent. Worst healing talent in the game. Yeah. Ah, let me hit your head. No. Ah, oh, okay. You actually won. Wow. Uh, that was kind of sad. You should use Trigger Scent. It might, it might be interesting. I'll consider it. Or Lethality. Pay Lethality with Agility. Mm. <laughs> Go flying. All right, keep on queuing. How many more King of the Hill matches do I need to play? Just two more. Okay, thankfully we're almost done with that quest. Still got a lot of siege objectives to capture. That's actually... That's actually a pretty long quest now that I think about it. Because I'd say on average you probably capture two objectives per match, assuming you're winning or at least breaking even. So that would be 30 matches of siege. And that's... You know, assuming you don't lose. And if you lose, you obviously don't capture any objectives, right? Like if you get stomped or something. So it could potentially take even longer. It's, that's kind of crazy. Was fighting demons trying to keep you alive when you were doing that 1v5? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the healing. I was just... I was so aggressive. <laughs> I was definitely playing a bit too recklessly there, but it didn't matter. When do they block VC and casuals? It's been that way for years. I I don't know. Like it's it's really been a long time. They should change it, honestly. It would be nice. Alright. <clears throat> time to clean up this earthly. Someone mess. got contacted by Evil Mojo, sat in their small recording studio, and put all their energy in to say, Suck on this. Absolutely, Erlemeyer. And uh was it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm kind, of, kind of goofy. Oh boy, they have a PNCL player on the enemy team. That's not even remotely concerning. I feel like PNCL players aren't that good. At least, not as good as PPL players or PPC players. Like the proper pro players from back in the day, those are the ones I'm concerned about. I see PNCL players, and it's usually a coin toss whether they the get farmed or not. Dirty their robes with my work. Alright, Adrenaline Junkie. Uh, do I want the SMG healing build again? We have basically the same comp. Uh, sure. <laughs> I guess I will. We'll just be silly. Because, I don't know. Gonna clip that and send to Palacor. PNCL players aren't good. I mean, okay. 
I mean, I've beaten many PNCO players before. <laughs> like, yeah. Obviously, the people who won PNCL are probably pretty good. I don't know who won PNCL, but the PNCL players I've been fighting, I feel like we're not the ones who won the PNCL. <laughs> Just uh, based on, yeah, how they play. Kind of funny. Yeah, it was a community tourney. So yeah, it's not going to have as much prestige as the PPL. But yeah, both PPL players and PNCL players got titles, and that's basically the same accolade. <laughs> And if you aren't in the know about these tournaments, you might assume PNCL players are the exact same skill level as a PPL player, but they are absolutely not! Okay, well, uh, this is awkward. <sighs> Need to heal up a little bit. Thank you. Mavis dead, that's good. Let me just pop up here. Vivian's actually kind of low back here. I think I'll chase that. Ooh, a Zon's on me. How dare you. Now you're going to have to take a bunch of damage and die. Gotcha. May have up here as well. I'm just going to light her up. Uh, there we go. Is that solar blessing? It is. If she got the beam, she probably would have lived that. Beam early game is just going to be filthy. Vivian's still over here? No, she's on the far left now. And she's dead. Brilliant. Alright. Let me pop up here. Ugh! JK. Ugh. Oh. Game's breaking. I think Nick stepped on my head. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, oh, she's so low. Come back here. I don't know where she's gone. I'm just gonna ult. Ooh, this is kind of bad. Yeah, I'm dead. Wait, we're losing? Why are we losing? Where's the new point? Where's the point? The point hasn't moved yet, has it? Okay. Weird game. The only community attorney I know is the Winter one. Yeah, the Winter one and the PNCL. There are a lot of other attorneys, but they're just... They don't get the same recognition from the, uh, from the devs. Or the community at large, you know? I'm just gonna light her up, because I know she can die here. There we go, gotcha. Got the Ying ult, let's push in! Unrelenting aggression! I'm playing Koga! With a Ying ult! You can't kill me! Die! There's the double. There's the triple. Yes! Oh, he's flying away. Oh, all right. I think he's going to make it out. Let me pop around here, then. I don't get lifesteal off of Nyx's royal presence because of the way the weird damage conversion works, so I actually have to be careful. Now I get that lifesteal. And I still have Ying pocketing me. I just win this, I think. Never mind. Maeve came in and did a thousand damage to me. I would have easily destroyed her if it wasn't for Maeve. Let's get more death hands. There's a community tourney starting up right now. You should join it, Mr. Chicken. No, I'm not joining tournaments. I'm not really a tourney type of guy. I had a run with some smaller tournaments back in the day. I think the BK Cup was one I participated in at one point. I hosted a few of my own as well, but it's just not something I'm super interested in anymore. Been there, done that. Not really my type of thing. Hello, Maeve. You've got a crazy amount of healing, but so do I. Ooh, ult, 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 ult. Here he is solo. There we go, gotcha. Uh, I'm still poisoned. Man. He's gonna light you up. Oh, all that was uncauterized. He's so low. Come back here. Gotcha. Get the Mave. Nice. Just gets plowed over. Gotcha. Ooh, that was a long stun. She have like stun duration in there? Oh, she does. Wow, that's surprising. I rarely see people use that card these days. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even get the dash off. Dang, that's a lot of damage. We max this out, and then let's do some probably armor plating up next. Play a little bit seriously. I mean, the scores are closer than they have been previously in the past few King of the Hills. So, nice job. There's that Mave. Oh, she's so low. You Got her. Try and get that Vivian as well. Break the shield. She's so low. There we go. Just get that kill. Nice and greedy. Probably gonna look up for a stun here. Oh, she doesn't have it. She's just dead. All right. Deleted. There's another triple. We're just destroying these guys right now. 
Uh, not gonna be a quad. There's the ult here. Live that. Ooh, I almost got hit by that. Yeah, I don't want to peek that. Ooh, I definitely don't want to be here now. Fury ult. Oh, stun! Ying is carrying me! Ah, uh, but it's not enough. I was just pretty unlucky with positioning there. I'll get some unbound then. Getting hit by a lot of these stuns here. I don't know what is too difficult with this trial. It's not difficult, it's just extraordinarily time consuming. So we're one tricking Koga <laughs> until we get this done. I hear Maeve. Where is she gone? Oh, there she is. Hi. Eee. Thank you for that heal. Ying is all over me. I love it. Ooh. Okay, I think she's got the Royal Presence up. I got Ying ult, though. I'm just going to push. Dodge. Oh, that still hit me? Okay, bad timing then. Oh, I want her. I can't have her. She is so low, but I just can't. I just can't. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, I think I can still blast that Maeve. She's really low. Yeah, she dies. As do I, possibly? Yeah. Oof. Okay. Uh, we'll do armor plating, too. We're up by over 100 points now, which is good. Just gotta keep our head in the game here. Aw, oh, she doesn't make it out. It's on dice for it, though. That's good. Ooh. Dashing into the wall. Hello. She's gonna ult this. You can't stun me, I'm ulting. Come back here. Why is she so fast? Yuria. Come back here! You are way too fast! Gotcha. There we go. Jeez. That's just silly. Alright, I'm dead. I guess it was worth it. Got the kill. I joined Attorney, but I never saw Paladins as a competitive game. It definitely has room for competition. I am... I'm a fan of the idea of tournaments being held with pro players actually taking the game seriously. I would just rather be a spectator in that sport, you know? Ooh, she's really low. There we go. Help with that. Just gonna walk a Vivian here with Ruckus. Nice. Never mind. He died. Okay, let me back up. Try and focus Furia here if I can. Azan is basically indomitable with all that DR. Kind of rough for me to try and solo kill him, especially because all that DR makes my life steal worse. Uh, he finally dies to Yawn. Excellent. Trying to annihilate Nyx here. Alright, time that a bit better. Dodge the sun this time, and she dies, and that is basically all but GG. Solo ult Vivian, just easy peasy. Get the kill. Got Maeve over here. Hello. Yep. I cleansed your blind. I'm an angel of the light, and you will die. GG's. Well, good stuff. Oh, my spray's in the back. <laughs> Feel like I did pretty good there. Let's see. How's the kill count looking? Ooh, yeah, 22 kills. Ruckus did really good. This guy just knows how to play Ruckus better than I do, I suppose. 14 kills there. Well done. Yeah, we kind of just rolled over him. You know what? Uh, credit where credit's due. The PNCL player did manage to get top kills on their team. Playing Nyx there. So, well done. Yeah, Ying's ult does counter Maeve's ult. It counters CC now. Uh, the way it works is it provides one second of CC immunity to everyone on the team as soon as she casts it. So if you cast it after Maeve ult has been cast, you'll just cleanse it. I didn't play Paladin since around Betty got into the game. Any tips to get in again? PC wasn't working and Mac OS won't update the graphic drivers for crossover. So are you asking for tips to just literally launch the game? I mean, I have no idea. You might try and, like, send in a support ticket or ask around on my Discord server for anyone who has problems with that. 
I'm not the best person to help out on the technical side for paladins, so. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna look stupid no matter what. Uh, all right. Oh, yes, we could use Omega next. One of my favorite Koga skins. I still have a really good render of this skin that I made, like, a year ago at this point. Actually, has it been two years? Uh, uh the creation date's not going to tell me anything on here, because I moved it onto the PC after I created it, so it was like, ah, okay. Still, though, uh, pretty snazzy. Uh, let me pull it up. Oh, come on, Windows, don't break. Why are you giving me an error? It's just a picture. My guy. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Resistance Peter had a stroke there. Yeah, look at this guy. Activated. Look at this guy. He looks so much better in Blender when you have actual proper metal going on there. Like, you have this. But then you just look in game and it's like rough plastic rather than metal. Very sad. It's still really nice, though. One of my favorite Omega skins. I cast it at the instant May Voltage. It's kind of sad. <laughs> well, it's very powerful, and it's a new way to uh, counter abilities that wasn't there before. So I think it's really cool. Now you can't see my check mark because it's bugged. Apparently, some people can still see my check mark, but I can't. It's really weird. I hope they fix it. Okay, well that's a uh, solo tank rom. That's a lot of. Uh, Free life steal, so I guess we're gonna keep playing the same items here because uh I'm having fun with it. I don't know. I didn't think I'd enjoy just rushing Deft Hand's life rip on Koga as much as I am, but <laughs> uh, surprisingly effective this patch, you know, with that 60% scaling. Oof. And the price reduction on Deft Hands? Nice. Is the bug fixed where Omen doesn't get forced to rifle mode after his grab? No, he's supposed to. It's not a bug where he gets forced to rifle mode after his grab. That's intended. It's actually written in the advanced description of the uh, ability, I'm pretty sure. Because the idea is you throw them away, so Omen, if you have the ominous brand on somebody, will convert into the rifle mode so he can hit them at that longer range. That's very much intentional. Ah! Run away. Alright, let me do some damage out here just to kind of expend some ammo. We got Omen here now. Easy opening on him. Just wreck him. Ooh, and then run away. Okay, I'm fine for now. Uh, yeah, I'll just farm up Rom here. There we go. Finally get the headshots. Gotta get the right angle for that. These SWAT Drogos out of the sky. Ooh, wow. A lot of damage. Thanks to Ying for letting me survive that. Ying is doing a very good job on me, I have to say. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bunch of damage, pop back around, let the illusion heal me. Perfect. Just gonna dodge all that. It was kind of a waste for damage, but that's okay. Still worth it to use for immunity frames. Ooh, no counter. He'll probably counter me soon. Or just run around killing everyone else. I'm dying. Okay. Well, poor Ruckus, but we are definitely going to cap this here. Nice and easy. They have such a free comp for us to farm damage on. Not a single barrier to be found among them. Zin's like the only one who's reasonably hard to kill. We just need to do a lot of damage, because Rom has a lot of health. But that's basically it. Oof. Hello, Zin. Probably gonna counter here. Ah, oh, he keeps billowing when I think he's gonna counter. Very weird. We have, like, the perfect comp to run a counter spam build against Koga, Ruckus, and Rom. Like, that's just insane. Ooh. I actually thought I needed the ult to kill him because I ran out of ammo, but it turns out I just domed him. <laughs> so, that works. When the shotgun guy pushes people away? Yes. Seems legit. It'd be like if on Bounce House, Buck knocked them back instead of knocking them up. <laughs> Game design. Ooh. Okay. I'm really getting myself super out of position here. I dashed into the room. I didn't let Yang heal me. That's my bad. He's supposed to, but it doesn't when not in shooting range. Really? Remember, you do have to hit them with the brand before you grip them. So if you just grip them without applying brand, it won't do it. If that's a bug, though, then I guess 
I misinterpreted what you said the first time, and I don't know if that's a thing or if it's going to be fixed or what. Mate, I have dashes. I'm playing Koga. <laughs> Do not forget this fact. Koga has high damage immunity uptime. I can dodge everything. I can dodge that too, Rom. You're not special. Ooh. Let's just keep on spamming. I need so much more Daft Hands, man. <laughs> Should have bought it when I died and I was in spawn, but I forgot. <laughs> kind of doing peanuts right now. Not a lot of damage. Just tickling them with grains of rice. Ah! Going up here. They can't find me if I'm up here. <laughs> yes. Okay. Just keep spamming. Not super worthwhile for me to be shooting Rom. I need to be killing their damage champions. I just don't really have much of an opening. Surprisingly, kind of lacking space. Even though we have two tanks. It is what it is. As long as I'm consuming ammo. Let's do more deft hands, do more life rip. There we go. What are some unpopular opinions you have? Timber Mill is actually a good map that I enjoy playing on. There you go. <laughs> unpopular opinion. Probably my most unpopular opinion. Although surprisingly, every time I say that, I have at least like one person in the chat being like, yes, I agree. <laughs> so, uh, uh. Maybe it's slightly more popular than people are willing to let on. What is this? I don't want lyrical background music. Stop it. I want a nice taco from Taco Bell after all the heals I'm giving you, Andrew. Nah, uh, Sarah Sky. Sarah Sky. I'm not gonna degrade how, how much I appreciate your healing by giving you a taco from Taco Bell, okay? Let me go to the proper Mexican restaurant I have, just down the street. Let me get you a real taco. Taco Bell. <laughs> Imagine. Up and over. Epic rollouts. Not gonna do much in the way of killing Zin, but we actually just destroy Rom there. Get the double on Drogos, and then Io should be free pickings for me. Dodge that. There we go. Wonderful. Worst map ever, oh boy. No, it's not. Dawnforge exists. I think even if you hate Timbermill, I think most people who previously said Timbermill was the worst map in the game can maybe agree that Dawnforge is the worst map now. And I would much rather play Timbermill than Dawnforge, or Frog Isle, or Fish Market. Fish Market is terrible. Sometimes, if I'm having an off day, I might even prefer playing it over Shattered Desert, or Bazaar. I'm not super huge fans of those maps, either. Alright, he's got Billow. Just lots of damage immunity across the board. Let's just back out. Reset. Kill Rom. Ooh, a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, thank you. Hit me through the window. Let's make sure Ruckus doesn't die. Trying to get Drogo's off his tail there. Ooh, Drogo's is low. I'm going up. Trying to shoot passes in and hit that IO. Oh, it's not working out for me. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ruckus. I had to abandon you. It was just not conducive. I was really staying at that position too long. Got Ying on now. I'm just gonna push. Ooh, donation. Thank you. Donated one dollar. I'd like to request you play a Koga build where you use all the agility cards in one other card of your choice. To infinity and beyond. So Frogga build, basically. Alright, I can try that out. Thank you very much. The worst map is Primal Court. Absolute trash. Yeah, that one's pretty bad, too. At least it looks good. Now that they added the details back, but yeah, it's not very good to play on. It's too small. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ruckus is actually just the one getting all the kills. I just got wrecked. Wow. Timber Mill is okay when you're not a point tank or grok. Yeah. And even then, you have Flying Inara. <laughs> or, uh... That is kind of it, but, uh... I mean, you can still play, like, Tinker and Barrack and get long range. It's not the most comfortable role there, yeah. But that's where you just become a real Chad. You play a Zahn Ruckus on the same comp and just pop off. Get Vora as well, or Eevee, or Vatu. Bam, there you go. Just win. 
Yes. Sir, where is your counter? Is he not running a counter spam build? Let me check. My guy, why do you not have a counter build? For a comp just like this, counter build would be just immaculate here. You would never die. We would just constantly feed it. Like, bruh. I'm actually kind of disappointed, but I guess it means he's easier to kill, so I'll take that win. Alright, Rom, you gotta stand on point here. I'll pop back and help with Zin. There we go, delete him. Hey, hello. Bro Star 999 donated $1. Also, please use the boss fight skin. Oh, heck yeah. I love that skin. Absolutely. Thank you. I am the point tank. I'm just battling Rom. Why won't he die? Oh, man. Ooh, we did not have touch. Okay, guys, I wasn't actually serious when I said it was the point tank. <laughs> I, do, I do actually need one of the real tanks to contest. I, I'm Koga. Oh, that's silly. Sorry. It's better to go double off if you don't want your tank to be bored to death. Yeah, or just be ineffective. But that's okay. Off tanks are the more fun tanks anyways, generally speaking. Like, would you rather play Inara or Azan? I mean, I know who I'm picking. So, I mean, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me max out Deft Hands, and I guess that's all the credits I have. After that, I will go for some armor plating, most likely. Or Nimble, we could just go fast. I don't really feel like I'm dying that much. But, I mean, late game Cauterize is officially here now, so that might change. We'll see. Okay, I need to come up here. Try and delete Omen if we can. He's so one. Go through the window. There we go. Okay. Need to build up more energy. Seems like all their DPS are on the right chasing down Ruckus. Poor guy. Mm. Alright, good kill on Vora. Or by Vora there, I mean. Gonna try and chase them back. Ooh, mistake. Uh oh, run away. I'm gonna reset and just farm Rom here for a little bit. Do a bunch of damage. Oh man, what is this guy doing? <laughs> he should definitely die now, right? Yeah, easy. Gotcha. Dodge all that. Ooh, not quite a triple kill. Well, technically it is a triple kill. Could have been a quad, but it wasn't. I think Zin dies to the rest of the team, right? Yeah, good job, Vora. Alright. I will hold the line up here then. Whoop. They're just dismounting themselves. Wow, I'm just that fearsome, aren't I? <laughs> cool. Oh, all right, that's fine. Let me go up and over like that. Ooh. Oh, he lives that. He's got Goddess Blessing. I need to dash the heck away. Oh, thank you. Oh boy. I'm playing too far away from Ying. Oh, we got the ult. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. Just keep shooting. Oh! Just keep shooting. Increase healing, lifesteal, go! There he is. There he was. Easy. Come back here, Drogos. Okay, he's gonna make it out of there. I need to go. Oh, the heals, dude. So good. There we go. Oh, nice stun. Let's get the IO there. Oop. Dodge that. You still die to Ruckus, and we should absolutely push this through for the GG. Yep, there we go. Nice. Do you play Vatu? I used to play a lot more Vatu. I don't really play that much Vatu anymore, though. I'm an Eevee main. Omen needs a buff, he's so useless. I agree. The shotgun is too inconsistent. They really just destroyed his only viable playstyle. We did 149,000 damage there, jeez. <laughs> damage dealing machine. 
They had no barriers, though. We just kind of rolled over them with all our damage. They had a lot of damage, too, because we also were in a similar position. Not very many barriers. They did a lot of damage to me, but then I got healed back up by Ying because I can cleanse Cauterize and get extra healing for my build. Really nice synergy there. Okay, up next. Uh, let me just double check the build that Rostar wants. Designation. I believe, yeah, we just have this silly build, but we need every single agility card in here. So I guess I'll swap this card out for Winds Embrace. And that's all we'll do. Easy peasy. <laughs> Fraga. I'm a Spanish player. Sorry for my English, I'm learning. No, your English was perfectly good there. That's well done. I'm actually, I'm the opposite. I'm an English speaker trying to learn Spanish. Yo quiero hablar español. Uh, pero no soy bueno. <laughs> I'm very, very bad at particularly speaking, because I always want to speak really fast, because that's what it sounds like Spanish speakers do. They speak really, really fast. But then I stutter over myself, and it's awful. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I'm also bad at listening, but reading I can do pretty well. Relatively speaking. Going back to the pit. You speak so good. Thank you. Alright, man, we just keep on rolling with the same comp. I Not Me is like the only one <laughs> who's daring to be different. They've got double tank as well. Rom again. I've got to fight a Koga, but they have no healer, so we should just roll them. They're going to have to buy a bunch of life rip, and I guess Rom will have to be the healer. Oh boy. Time to learn Polish. It's fun, I promise. I don't think I will. It's about to drop. Uh, I just... It seems like it, it seems like the language of dark magic and sorcery and just like gibberish. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. I, I it was like, how do you put so many consonants next to each other without any vowels, or just like a Y? It's it confuses me. <laughs> okay, uh, adrenaline junkie. Yes, this and. Uh, you know what? I'll do Deft Hands Lethality instead. We'll go for maximum speed. We'll do Lethality while we'll spy some Nimble. What about Arabic? To be honest, I don't know much about Arabic. Uh, I know it. I know actually, Arabic has had some influence on Spanish because there was a bunch of history with. Uh, were they Turks or what was what was the? I don't remember the name of the specific group of Muslims that like went up. You know, through Northern Africa and then into the Iberian Peninsula. But I know there was, like, a bunch of that influence in, like, Spain for a while. And that influenced some of the words uh, spoken in the language, but also the architecture. And it's part of why Spain, Spain has such beautiful architecture, because it's like a combo of, like, Arabic and Latin influence. It's really cool. Sorry, I had to nerd out there for a second. Hey. Wow, he actually just does more damage than me. <laughs> okay. Yeesh. Oh. <laughs> Which language is spoken more on the world, That's Spanish or Portuguese? Bit. Definitely Spanish. Kinda cause Portugal got the short end of the stick when it came to the, uh... It's not... Was it Treaty of Tortoise I feel like that's not the right name for the treaty, but the treaty where they the Pope basically split the world in half for Portugal and Spain. <laughs> They didn't realize how big the New World was, and so Spain just got, like, way more. And now there are way more Spanish speakers, because, like, most of the countries to the west of Brazil speak Spanish. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure all of them do, except, like, obviously, you know, the United States, like, North America, Canada, right? Ooh, boy. Ah, run away. But Portugal, I know, also had some influence on Africa. I don't know how many... I, I assume there are some Portuguese speakers in Africa. I don't You're know exactly dead. how much prevalence there is there, but... Yeah. Okay, what are we even doing? Maybe I should actually focus on the gameplay. Instead of trying to remember the vague historical facts. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's a little bit of an uphill battle right now, even though they don't have a healer. They do have a lot of damage. That's kind of the one good thing about their comp. And the tanks are reasonably pretty tanky. Holy crap. Phew. Okay. 
Wow, he just got deleted. Took a sniper shot to the dome. That Koba's pretty low. Um, you can't resist all right, me. come over here. There we go. Just laser him down. I'm going to chase down Jerulus here as well. Dodge that shot. I'm going to ult. Ooh, he's out of range. Okay. Well, I guess he gets away with that. Fair play. Ooh, boo, 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 boo. Okay, gotcha. Keep on rolling this through while we can. Ooh, there we go. Save you. He was really low. Sorry, buddy. I do more damage than you. <laughs> With SMGs versus claws. Ah, I got you. I should not be here right now. Oh, Ying just keeps blasting, dude. Crazy. Ooh, come here, Talus. Oh, he gets away. No. Oh, hi. <laughs> Alright. Guess I'll not flank around there. Oh, I'll not flank at all now, actually. Okay, he pulled out. That's good. You can't resist me! Trying to live this. Oh, just got plowed over. Alright. Time for the most pink skin available for any champ to play next, please. Does Koga even have a pink skin? I don't think he does. Hmm. Alright, we need to group up here. They are pushing all the way up to our spawn right now. Dang. Maybe I should get some lifesteal. They do have a lot of just free <laughs> damage for me that I can farm up. Oh, look at the super jump from lethality. Oh, yes. We're jumping. <laughs> Let's go. He can't hit me. Just kidding. He can actually hit me pretty well. Hello. Ah, uh, you don't have a punch. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Huge. Okay. Let's keep on going. Aha! Ooh, hello. Rose Star 999 donated $1. Uh, uh, no! $10 can I request a specific custom match to cleanse our palace? I promise it will be fun. Which specific custom match are you referring to? If it's sumos... I'm actually probably going to say no, because that's going to be really long and we can't complete quests and customs. And we just did a sumo stream, so... Ah! Woo! Oh, Ying is dead. I need to go. I need to get out of here. I'm gonna buy some life rip. There we go. Not going to be as good, because I don't have trigger happy, but it'll still be decent healing, I think. I'm playing Koga. I mean, come on. He does good damage. Oof. I did not complete the reload. Would have had him if I actually reloaded properly, but I didn't. <laughs> no, I haven't had problems with the heal 6k in one match quest at all. That one was really easy. Ah. Bye, Talos. Just gotta play a reasonably long match for it. But, yeah. 60k is eminently reasonable as a trial to do. Oh, God. Ow, 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 ow. Not the fire spit. Stop it. We're actually not going to 100% this. I just realized. We only have 30 seconds left. We've been dawdling too much. Our line right, no damage out of that. One dollar. No Koga for one match. Since you have such good tracking, do some MAGA ROM gameplay. No gimmick <laughs> right. or anything, just a normal match. <sighs> okay. Sure. I guess I'll play some MAGA. <laughs> thought, the, thought the TTS was reading it like MAGA. I was like, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Suddenly political? Oh. Oops. <laughs> His Coast Guard is closest to pink, I guess. Well, now we're playing ROM, so we gotta figure out what a pink ROM skin is. Hmm. I guess there's the purple one. That's pretty close to pink. I don't know. 
Yeah, for a comp with no support, they're doing pretty well. Koga's going for life rip, so that explains his survivability. Talos is also pretty survivable. Oh, his build is trash, though. Dear God. Aha! Oh. All flanks except Rose no Star healers. 999 donated TDM turned gravity to zero. For the custom match, <laughs> like Sumo's, it's all flanks except no healers. The catch, it's TDM, and you turn okay. gravity to zero percent. So ten flanks, zero gravity. <laughs> that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, we can try that out. Ah. Yeah, let me run back here. I don't think they're gonna have much brawl for Brawn to actually push the payload with that reasonable of an efficiency, but who knows? I mean, I am dead. I kind of just went in 1v2. That was silly of me. It wasn't good stuff at all. Brawn is dead. Hang on a minute. They're actually doing kind of good. Let's focus here, team. We got this. Heal diff, I'm doing bad this game. I mean, I feel like the healing's pretty good. If anything, I think the combination of their tanks plus the fact that we have a relatively low damage comp is why we're losing this. Because both teams have Koga, so, you know, that's kind of irrelevant. Both teams have Rom. We do have Ruckus, which is a high damage tank, but, you know, they've got Koga, Talus, and Drogos, and our only other damage champion is Kinesa, who's not... She's not a good champion <laughs> right now, sadly. Not the player. I'm not talking about the player. I'm talking about the champion. Like, she's a very low damage output champion. For a damage champion. You know, like, Drogos is going to do way more. Talus is going to do way more. So, that's really pretty bad for us. And they are free pushing right now. I'm just dead. Wow. I'm doing my best to try and deal damage here, but surprisingly, I feel like I can't kill anything. It's really weird. Talus isn't even buying life rip. Is Subservience really that strong? I mean, we have Subservience ROM too, though, so, like, I really don't understand why this match is so weird. So goofy. Their ROM is just making so much space, able to take out Knessa for free. Oh, boy. Got that Ying ult. My build is also very goofy. That's probably part of why we're losing as well. I'm not playing a serious Koga build, and so I'm doing worse. Don't have as much damage output. Certainly don't have as much healing. We are just getting farmed right now. Why are we such pushovers, guys? That's GG. Yeah, we can't touch. Wow. Kind of bad. <laughs> kind of trash. Uh, let's see. Was someone just slacking that game or what? Let me see. Yeah, I got seven kills. 96,000 damage. Rom did a lot of damage. Yeah, it really was just that Knessa pick, I think. And again, not to flame the player, I'm talking just like... Knessa's just not good. It's not even really a good map for her. It's not super long-ranged. And I guess against those guys, I mean... She just wasn't able to do enough damage. Although she also died least on the team, surprisingly. Yeah, wow. 85... Wait, 85,000 healing out of Rom? What? What is this guy doing? Harbinger 5, Void Lord 5, Shattered Essence 3, Kronos? Wait, what? How is he able to do that? 85,000 versus 36,000. What? I have never seen a ROM do that good as a solo support. Okay. <sighs> what? Dang. Also, Talos was really slacking on damage, too, so... I mean, they did have, on average, more damage than us, that's true, but I guess it wasn't even as far apart as I thought. That was so weird. That's a really weird match. Okay, well, uh, we need to do first mate announcer, and we gotta play Ram, and then we'll do the custom game. So, yeah, let's do that, and... Alright, what's the pinkest skin we have for Ram? Wrong. Definitely not this one. Wrong. Abyssal Lord is purple. Purple is pink adjacent. Wrong. A little crazy never hurt anyone. That's a bit more purple, but more towards blue Wrong. than anything. Krampus. Krampus, yeah, definitely not. Wrong. 
This is the only one with true pink in it, but it's also RGB. A little crazy never hurt anyone. That has absolutely no pink in it. Wrong. Red. Wrong. Dark purple. Okay. Hmm. Wrong. I don't know. Thanos skin or ROM, your choice. That's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. Grumpus. A little crazy. Or there's this one, which is pretty purple. I mean, honestly, that one might be more purple than this one. But the tone of this purple is closer to pink. I think I'll do this one. I think this is the most clear, robust pink covering most of him constantly. ROM is like color fade. It's like, you know, it's cycling in and out. I don't think that's good enough. Whoa, 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 get the bro. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh. Boss fight. Cool. <laughs> I guess we're postponing the, uh... <laughs> back to the pit. <laughs> I guess we're postponing the ROM match then. Okay. Um, I'll save the pink skin request for that, too, because I think it'll work better than on Koga. Koga just doesn't have anything that's pink. Goodness. Alright. Yo, is that the Alpha Dwarf 69? We're so buck. Level 196 Fernando, Chad? Heck yeah! Alright. <laughs> that's a pretty high level Vora as well. Love to see it. And I get to go back to my regular build. Woohoo! My orgs are getting rusty. Better give him a word. Here we go. Adrenaline junkie. Uh, yeah, I'll just go back to the healing build. Proper healing. Proper everything. There we go. I really like this skin. I think the SMGs are pretty darn clean. It would be cool if we had some more cyberpunk skins like this. Especially of this quality. It's really nice. I feel like the SMGs are just really satisfying to use, because that, like, Captain. little hammer thing. <laughs> just constantly like, doing that. It's nice. Like, honestly, I feel like Koga has a bunch of really solid skins. Surprisingly. One of those, like, I guess, high-density good skin characters. Five, like, four, he doesn't have a crazy three, amount of skins. Two, compared to someone like, I don't know, Jake, but no most of them are pretty good. Here we go. I guess I'll go around the right. I don't I don't really know what I'm doing right now. Koga on this map. I definitely can't shoot from that far away, so let's try and get in closer. Hello, Ferdinando. Oh, he's playing Aegis. Aw. Slightly less alpha. I totally expected the Scorch. Man. Ooh, large cripple there. I got you. I'm here to help. Get right in his face. Feed the counter. I don't care. I have Ying heals in early game. You can't kill me. I'm invincible. Die! Yes, there we go. I want to get that Grover. We've got a lot of people looking at me right now, though. Mmm, look at all that healing, man. Delicious. He's low. Mm, disappeared. Oh! Is he running knockback card? Okay, slightly more alpha. Gained a little bit of the alpha back. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Dang, Unstoppable Force 3. Interesting. Very interesting build. I think we actually lose this here. We lost too many and they have uh, just a few more points to cap. So... Yeah, we don't got it. Sadly. Hi! Woo! Lots of damage. I just couldn't really get any picks there at the start. Really difficult. Alright, Laura. We coming around here? We gonna do this left side or not? Nah, she's just gone. Oh man. My SMGs just like don't want to reload. Is there like not a reload animation cancel? I don't even feel like that's the case. It's just so goofy. Ah, let me up here. Uh-oh. Well, me thinks you're dead. She is gonna die for it, though. What am I doing dropping like that? Foolish. 
Come back up here. Charlotte is super aggressive right now. I'm just gonna ult. Oh, he's one. He got the thing back. No. Ooh. Yeah, he's actually just gonna live. I can't get past the Zen right now to kill Shaolin. I'm one. Ah, oh, Ying, where are you? Man, oh, I can't, dude. There's so many people in the back line. Surely they'll give Barrack a new skin in the next update, right? Copium? I, yeah. He needs a new skin. It's been too long. Jeez, the last one was literally Steelforge, wasn't it, right? Like, it's been so long. Maybe that'll be the rank skin. Wouldn't that be cool? Alright, Shylin, I'm coming for you. Hey, Koga just said that. Let me come back up here. Dodge that. Ah, so much immunity. Ooh, get Grover. He has no vine. He has no vine. There we go. Got him. Uh, Khan's dead. Need to help Ying. Gotcha, Ying. There you go. Ooh, don't let them push. Fernando's here. Dwarf on the point. <laughs> Very tall dwarf. I don't know why he's so tall. <laughs> is he going to get touch? He is. Oh, he's ulting for it. Okay. Oh, and they got Rom too. That's bad. Get off of Ying. Good job, Khan. Oh, I got to get back on point. I got to contest this for some reason. Okay, we got it. And yes. Good. Wow, that was a crazy vine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Io has a lot of skins too. Really just the characters with the most skins in this game are like Androxus, Ying, Tyra. I don't know why they gave Tyra so many skins. But yeah, a lot, a lot of skins for those characters. A lot of new champions really only have like one or two skins too. They really need to... Uh, Fill up the Capture skin selection for some of these newer characters, seconds. too. Doesn't Caspian still only have, like, one skin? Octavia as well. Octavia just gets completely neglected. No skins for her. Since the Beach Bash skin she got. That's it. That's all she has. Yeah, one skin for Azan. Don't know why they're not giving Azan skins. One of the most popular tanks, I think. One of those fun tanks, at any rate. Okay, Fernando's just going to point again. Brilliant. Ah, uh, he's trying to stop me from flanking. I've got his attention, though. And I have a Ying ult. You expended your dash. That's right, I'm paying attention to your abilities, Alpha Dwarf. I'm on to you. I count cards. Or whatever the equivalent. Is that the equivalent for Paladin's counting abilities? I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, new Eevee skin, too. We need one of those. Still surprised they haven't added BV. I feel like that's one of the more popularly requested Eevee skins. BV. Just based on that one silly avatar. Ooh, hello. Oh. Oh, he's been silence? I didn't realize. Ooh. I'm dead here. Yeah. Can't survive too much damage out there. I shouldn't have let Charlene hit that longbow there. That shot. I'm really sorry. We gotta group up. I'm gonna get some armor plating. We can still have a chance of capping at this time. We just gotta get in and get some kills. I do not have enough poke right now. I don't have my ult either. I can try and go for a touch. I'm dead, but I got it. Overtime. Need these guys to actually clutch up and get some kills right now. Khan's going to the point. Got really good heals. Vora's going in. Yeah, push him back, guys. Make that space. Oh, this is not looking good right now. Oh, they dropped our support. We don't have it. We don't have it. Man, that was a good try, but... Everyone's dead now. I need to get out of here. Yeah. Oh, glitches, glitches, all sorts of glitches right now. That was so buggy. I almost didn't make it out of there. <sighs> Oi, they have so much poke. Yeesh. 
Let's go for Laura. Where's she going? Oh, she's like flying around. They're falling back. I don't think I want to push super hard against them right now. Because they're all grouped up back there, I know. Where is she going? I am losing this Laura. Oh, there she is. Gosh. She's just flying all over the place. Wait. Behind us, guys. They're back capping. God. How did he do that? Seriously? <laughs> really? Oh, man. No way no one saw that. Bruh. Seriously. Gosh, I was so focused on the Vora, I had no idea they were back capping. I was the only one who actually saw it, too. Everyone else was too slow. Man. Capture Saying I'm Alpha, how dare you? Well, you're not playing seconds. Scorch, so... You know... You know... I have to dock points for that. Five, four, three, two, Man. One. I can't believe you've been back capped twice today. The first time definitely wasn't my fault, but the second time, this time right now? I guess I am kind of to blame for that, partially. I mean, we all failed there, so... Oh man, you just can't climb above that? That sucks. Oof. Alright, good heal. Get off of my king. Bruh! She's won! Really? And she doesn't die? No one kills her. Oh my god. Really? Ugh. What a scam, dude. What a scam. Can't believe she didn't die there. If she didn't ult there, she would have died too. That extra damage reduction really helped her out. Now I don't have ult to touch. I'm just dying out here right now. I can't be the one to touch. I don't have energy for it. I'm keeping back both their DPS. I'm dead. Yeah, we just lose this. Wow. We just totally dropped the ball that game. I'm sorry, man. We kind of threw that. <laughs> Bat cap. Not killing Vora. Oh. Man. Uh, five kills there, but yeah, we really dropped the ball. They owned us that match. Okay. And I was supposed to play Rom there anyway, so... Yeah. Um... I guess... Let's, uh... I guess we'll do the custom game then, and then we'll play Rom after. I'll leave the party so that way people have a fair chance to join the party. Or I join the custom. And then I'll just go solo for the last match for the Rom game to make sure that I actually get Rom this time, you know? Uh, all flanks. What would be a fun map to do all flanks on? With zero gravity? Need a place with good verticality. Was it also supposed to be TDM? It was. Okay. So, Abyss, obviously then, would be the best map for this. And we will do... Zero gravity. There. Should I also set the jump multiplier to a lot? I think I will. We'll do... How high does it go? 500%. Alright, 500% jump multiplier, 20% gravity scale. Can't quite set it to 0%, but yeah, we can do that. There we go. And the rule is we all are playing flanks. All flanks. No tanks, no supports, no DPS. All flanks. Perfect. Uh, the password will be 123. Let me put that on the screen for you. And it's on North America, so yeah, crossplay on as well. Go ahead and join. I'm the one that backcapped you with Ying the first time, and then we get backcapped. Yeah. I can't believe nobody saw that. I was just so distracted on Vora. But we had five people, and all five of us failed to notice. Why is nobody joining? Did the, the, the password not working? Let me try it again. Oh, I pressed nine to put the password on the screen, and then that added a nine to the password because I was in the text field. My bad. Uh, now I gotta set the jump multiplier again. Whoops. Because not on my numpad is the uh, the button to put the password up. Okay, here. Do that. Crossplay on again. There we go. Do it properly this time. <laughs> Gosh. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Alright, so low gravity, high jump height. <laughs> Who do I even want to play? That's the thing. I feel like it'll be weird to use some movement abilities. Like, I don't know how good Soar will be with these multipliers. 
thinking maybe like Androxus would be fun or something. Also, where is everybody? Guys. Password's on the top left of the screen. One, two, three. Type it in, join. North America. Easy. Frogga. I don't really want to play Frogga. I mean, it's a custom game. We don't need to play for ammo. I don't want to play Koga here. You have cross playoff? No, I toggled it on. For some reason, it's set by default to off, but I turned it on. Mave would also be pretty good for high jump. Hmm. I'm just thinking it'd be really funny to drift and basically just never touch the ground. Play like Flora's Lava Andro. That would be silly. All right, there we go. I'll just do this. I don't think matchmaking really matters. It's a very silly custom game. Here we go. Androxus. Androxus. I'll use the new skin too. Why not? The new skin that's actually over a year old. They teased it in the PTS and then just forgot about it. Yeah, that skin. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, all flanks. All flanks. No ying. I do not want to see ying. All flanks. That's what we said. That's Ray. Oh my god. I... I even typed it in! Where to God. People, man. <sighs> Whatever. I can't be bothered to create another one. We have nine flanks. That's good enough, I guess. Whatever. That's so disappointing. <sighs> well, I'm going to go uh, Darkstalker. Of course, just for the mobility. I know that most people play like Godslayer or Defiant Fist these days, but, you know, just for the funnies, I want to have the better dashes and the better drifting. Especially because those are going to be the way that I'm going to like move around in the air, go up and down. Because <laughs> with zero gravity and the drift passive, I'm basically just not going to fall, I don't think. Like, it'll be very goofy. The ray is not even connecting. Oh my god. Just gonna have a bot. Bruh. How do you join a custom game? Listen to me lay out the rules multiple times. Hover a support and then look at my message in the chat that says to lock in a flank. And then still lock in the support. That's like next level failure of reading and uh, audio comprehension. Yeah, I guess they're just a troll. I don't know. There's always a chance that you get a troll in a custom game when you do it as a streamer, so I guess that's what happened here. What a shame. Oh, well. I think we can still win this. They have, uh, seven. That's not scary, right? Right? Uh-huh. Right? Oh, oh god. Oh. Actually kind of scary. This is why Paladins players complain about Paladins' difficulty. They can't read. Oh, God. This is why people think Focusing Lens is a healing talent. Because they can't read. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to play the Goofy Heal build, which has Featherweight, because I'm never touching the ground, so I might as well. And the bot's just sitting there emoting. Okay, great. I'm also going to do Nimble, so I can actually fly around fast in the air. And... Whee! Whoa! Oh, crap. Ah, there we go. I got it. <laughs> Ooh, hey, we got first blood. Nice. I will get second blood for you. I am actually floating down, but I think it does get slowed by my drift. Maybe. Oh, boy. I'm just gonna float away from Kazumi. I'm too far away. She can't hit me. It's perfect. All right, let me reload. Oh, what, 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 what? What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Goodness. Pause, I'm reloading. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is weird. Oh man. Okay, I got seven somehow. Eee. 
Oh, my tracking is rough on Androxus right now. Okay, he's just gone. I assume he is blinded. Ooh, she got it. Okay. Hello. Oh, ha! There we go. No disarm can stop me! Ha <laughs> ha! What if I just do this and then buy items and then... Yeah, I can just buy items and not hit the ground. That is perfect. Let me, uh... Ooh, buy some armor plating! Yes! <laughs> Crap. No! I hit the ground. Ah! Oh, he got me. Okay. Yeesh. Oh, nice. Gosh, I actually just hit the skybox. That is incredible. Oh, I feel bad for Caspian. I just realized there's basically no way for him to do damage. He can't use his sword, because we're all so spread out. He can't use Rogue's Tempo. Oof. I hit a punch! Look at me! Wow. Alright, let me just get a big jump. Dash. There we go. I should actually be pretty easy for these guys to hit, though, if they do actually, like, get close to me. Because I am just kind of stationary, you know? Oh, I may have got that. I mean, good snipe. I kind of was having fun with the 1v1, though. So can I, like, go above this? Can I actually stand on this? No. It's just a platform that doesn't actually exist. Alright. Well, more armor plating. Whoa! Ah! Oh, I almost hit that. Wait, hold on. Uh, ah! Yeah! Punch kill! We're actually kind of crushing, even with a bot. That's so weird. This is so goofy. Ah. Caspian! Yes! Ooh, finish that. There we go. It weirdly feels kind of lonely, though. Like, we're all so spread out. It's, like, eerily silent in some ways, this match. <laughs> I'm surprised how many people I'm able to punch in this game mode. What the heck? Gotcha. Ooh, hit that shot. Missing the others, though. Come on. Oh, there we go. Absolutely sniped. Yeah, Caspian is impossible here. Yeah, kind of a silly idea. I don't know what to buy. I'll buy Deft Hands. Screw it. <laughs> Today is a Deft Hands day. I feel like reloading faster. I don't know. I don't got time for the default reload. Jeez, I'm so high up. Ooh. She's so low. Oh, we hit that last one. Thank goodness. Nice. Oh, he's so low. Yes, we got him. And we should get the last kill here. Yeah, there we go. GG's. Well, that didn't quite work out perfectly, but that was still kind of interesting. Kind of a silly game mode. Who got top kills? That's the real question. Oh, euphemism. 16 kills on Maeve. Good job. I'll take second place. And yeah, Raybot got 931 healing. Honestly, that's kind of impressive, considering how spread out everyone was. Picking Ray there. Goodness. Well, alright. Now I'm just going to queue one random match, and we'll play Rom for the request. And then we will end off for... We are past the three-hour mark now. So yeah, just one game of Rom. Easy peasy. Get it done. There he is. Don't get it stolen this time. Use the pink skin, and there we go. I regret picking Vora. I couldn't move. You couldn't move? Hmm. I didn't realize... Were you on my team? I didn't realize there was a Vora that match. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I feel like the best champions for that sort of jumping game mode would be... Yeah, someone who is able to kind of float or have mobility that lets them dynamically control themselves in the air. Which, Tendril, I guess, is okay for that, but having a dash like Andro is just, I think, better for that. And also hit scans. Like, if you're playing a projectile, it's just gonna be so hard. You know? It was very buggy. I would get stuck. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. 
Yo, it's another ROM. At least I'm not solo tanking, though. Uh, they've got Victor using a weird border. Level 77. Hope that's not a cheater. <laughs> I mean, level 77 probably wouldn't be a cheater, because I think they would have been banned by then, but... Weird, weird border. Um, okay. I'll just try and play ROM. I, I don't know how well this is going to go. But, uh... Yes. Mauga time. Slash ROM. Uh, we'll do... Do I want to do some Servience? We have Geno, so I might need to supplement that healing. I guess I'll try it out. And it's this build that I usually go, right? Yes. I always have to double check because I don't know. Because my builds are all really... <laughs> they all have really weird names. Ugh. We anchor. Ready to sails. Captain is ready to X's new off. calling feature can reveal your IP address? Oh, gosh. Time to bring out the VPN, then. Of course Elon Musk would find a way to ruin X even further like that. Dear God. See, that's why I unironically call it X, because it's not Twitter. Five, Twitter was a hellhole, but at least it three, wasn't this bad. Two, one. Like, this is not Twitter. This is X. How can you tell? Because it's terrible in every single regard. Yeah, just don't call on X. Yeah, let's just... I mean... I don't even use X anymore. I just get on every now and then to promo something, and I checked the last promo for my Azon guide. It literally got like six likes. Like nobody saw it. Platform's kind of dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, nice sin. Honestly, you don't really miss out on anything by not being an X, and I would say it makes your life better. You know, less toxicity, less being terminally online, just scrolling and scrolling indefinitely. It's just, it's better for your life to not be on that platform. And honestly, the same could have been said for Twitter, too. <laughs> so. Hey, Vicky. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm barely doing damage to this guy right now. Oh, boy. Let me try and run through. Bonk, bonk. Oh boy, that hit me. Huge stun, but I'm dead. Do we capitalize on it? Zin gets the victor. Two ults committed for that. Both teams 4v4 now, but Zin's popping off. That's good. Oh no, Fernando. He had his ult, but he didn't get to use it. Hoga's dead, though. I think we're still in a twin. Yeah, we do cap. Nice. X associates with other kinds of sites. Yeah. I still can't believe they did such a terrible decision with the branding change. Like, not only is it really stupid to rebrand Twitter to something completely different like that, because Twitter has such incredible brand recognition. Ah! No! But also, the thing they chose is so stupid. Right, I, I, I shouldn't say they. It's all Elon Musk's fault. The thing Elon Musk chose is so stupid. Because, yeah. <laughs> It creates such awkward, like, phrases, like, Oh, I uploaded a video on X. You did what? Make it sound like I uploaded porn or something. And... <laughs> also, oh yeah, I have an X. Oh, you have an X? What was she like? No, 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 I mean the social media. I don't have an X, like an X, X. I'm not talking about her, no. What, <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm an X user. An X user of what? Uh, are you, were you on alcohol? What's are you, are you alcoholic? You on drugs? What are you doing? How long have you been sober? So bad. Yo, we doing the ROM gaming? No, he had help. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's just so much bot spam and replies on tweets too. Yeah. Enemy killing spree. Enemy double kill. Like, I'm scared to even click on the replies to a tweet. Because, yeah, there are a bunch of bots in there. I'm, clear to, I'm scared of clicking on some link that's malicious, you know? Ugh. On the left flank. <laughs> Change the Instagram name for to G. Yeah, it's just like that. I have a G. Wait, you're a G? You're a gangster? What? What's going on here? Ah! Uh... Even then, Instagram changing to G would probably be better than Twitter changing to X, because X is a worse letter for that. <laughs> it's really bad. Alright, gonna try and run in here. We did lose one, but maybe I can make some sort of space here. 
Oh, or maybe I'll run away. Ten, nine, eight, Hi, seven, I'm running. Six, I'm running five, through. Four, I am the boy three, with the ultimate. One. Solo Shatter Leon. She just gets it healed right back up. Oh no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh no. I've been stunned. No, Rom, come back here. Rom. Oh. Uh, well, I guess I win that time. I gotta stay on point now because Fernando died. We lost our healer, though. Not sure we have this unless it pops off. We got the Leon. Koga, please. Stop this madness. Ooh, get that uncauterized while I can. Zin's dead, though. I could try and run, but yeah, it's hopeless. Alright. Where is Claw Koga gameplay? I uh, got a request to play ROM. We're doing the ammo challenge. We did mostly Koga today. Now we're doing ROM. Just for a match. Hmm. Can't wait for them to make Soul Harvest uncauterizable. Yeah, I'm looking forward to testing that on the next PTS. Assuming they actually do add it back, because it seems really interesting. Chronos three. Capture points and... spawn in fifteen seconds. Should I do armor plating? I guess I should, because I'd become really tanky. That's precision Leon, that'll shut her down. So yeah, I guess let's do it. Become tank ROM, I'll get armor Five, plating, get veteran. Four, I probably should have bought Horde then, because I'm really gonna struggle one. to get credits. This will Although, subservience also does help me get credits because I'm healing at the same time, I'm getting assists. That's why I'm able to afford Chronos three. And it's, you know, the first round. For the second round now. Oh, he's low. Eh, bonk. Come back here, sir. I just can't kill him, dude. Oh, he's back to full HP. That's so sad. <laughs> My bullets do nothing to him. Okay, well. Yay! <laughs> I love the mutual understanding of that. Whenever you have a ROM 1v1, you just you just gotta stand still and just hold left click <laughs> till one of them dies. Perfect. Hello, Yang. Hey, we capped it. Nice. Not so nice, he died. Oh boy. Alright, I need to go. Run! Run for the hills! Ooh, I can heal Genos in just a sec. There you go. I might die. Oh, I'm very dead. Yeah, alright. Let me do more armor plating and then, yeah, I'll start to get some veteran. Thankfully, they don't have percent damage, so veteran is super free here. I'll just go for casual 10,000 HP with... 24% damage reduction, and then even more damage reduction when I use Soul Harvest. Oh, yeah, baby. It's all coming together. Nope! Oh, you don't get stunned either. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> okay. There's a heal, uncauterized. I'm just gonna run around. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, she's low. Where did she go? Okay, I guess she lives that. Never mind. Oh, huge! Huge Geno Assault. <laughs> wow. Let me reload real quick while we have a break. And then I am going around the right. Get that health up. Go in. Ooh, don't drop that on me. Thank you. Hello. Where are we going, Rob? Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> yes! Oh, 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 oh! Hey! <laughs> I win! That was fair and square that time. Let's go. <laughs> this is not Koga. I know! I got a donation to play ROM. It's the last match of the day, okay? The point is we're doing the ammo quest. That's why we're playing Koga. All right. Oh, I can't get Veteran 2 yet, man. I guess I am kind of uh, hurting this ROM's chances of winning a little bit, because I've got armor plating. 
he's actually not going for a similar build at all. He's going for damage reduction after ignition. And I guess trying to have more consistent DR. I'm building for Void Lord, Juggernaut going reduction, a little bit of extra healing. I guess mine falls off a little bit harder because I'm building more for healing, but my items also clearly make up for that. He started with Horde. I definitely should have started with Horde. I didn't realize I was going to buy all these items. Didn't plan ahead. Ooh, we already lost our healer. We should be careful here. Oh, that hit me. Alright. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no! No, 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 Leon. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We fight fair and square here. There's a huge heal on everybody. I'm just gonna run after Victor. Hey, buddy! How you doing? Oh, you're doing quite well. You got two kills. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. <laughs> Ying's not actually helping with that? Okay. <laughs> Guess we're just blasting. I'm gonna run in. As fun as a 1v1 is, I got people to destroy. Oh, going out. Destroy those illusions. Not much of a stun, though. Oh, stop dumping fat loads on my face. Ow. Uh, veteran 2. Ooh, Fernando's dead. We might not actually have this. Tiberius is going to die. It's just Zin. He gets a kill. But he's not going to be able to contest long enough, I don't think. So the fight goes on. Okay. I run DR off of Ignition and cheat by stacking it with armor plating. Yeah. Well, I have DR on uh, Soul Harvest. It scales higher, but it has less uptime. It's just like for Ignition to have as good uptime as you would need for that, you'd have to run cards for it, and I don't feel like running cards for it usually. Yo, another fat ult. Nice. Okay. Let me maintain my Soul Armor here. I have almost 10,000 HP. Very hard for Victor to destroy. Seems like he's just running away, though. Alright. Well, let me maintain my armor. I... Wow, I can't even hit him because of my spread. That range. Alright. Oh, let me keep healing. Maintain that 10k. Do some damage. Ooh, nice. Hello! What you doing here, Koga? I don't like this. Bam! Kill Leon with that. Let's go. Huge. He has ult. Yep, there it is. Ooh, had to bring Fernando ult out for that. Oh, there's a heal. Keeping him at bay. I do not want to get back capped for a third time today, so I'm paying very close attention to the diamond on the top of my screen. They could do that on this map. They just gotta float around the side. Come on, Fernando, you got this. Stay alive, stay alive. I'm out of bullets. Hold on. Pause, I'm reloading. Ah, there we go. And a massive heal for everybody. We are just at a stalemate up here. Okay, they're finally starting to push in. I'm going to do a drive-by. Ooh, I do not have enough distance on that. I did not think this through very well. Crap. Yeah. All right. That was a mistake. <laughs> we'll do... Uh, I think Veteran 3 first for the funny number, and then I'll do Armor Plating. Ignition and Soul Harvest both have 10 second cooldown, and both DR cards have 3 second uptime. So Soul Harvest DR card is straight up better, if not picking up both. Yeah, well, I guess the thing is, with a card, you can decrease the cooldown of Ignition, and you can't do that for Soul Harvest, I don't think. Which, if you could do it for Soul Harvest, then Subservience would be a lot better. So, I suppose for that, like, again, I guess it is consistency with Ignition, right? But then it's also more of a card investment. I actually kind of forgot that they, uh, yeah, they did buff the cooldown recently. They made it 10 seconds for Soul Harvest. So, yeah, before it would have made even more sense to run Ignition-based cooldown. Because then the starting cooldown was lower, but then you would lower it even further with this card. 
Abhorrent Vista. That's a cool name for a card. This is the opposite of an Abhorrent Vista. This is actually a pretty nice Vista. Look at that. So pretty. Wow. Capture yeah, I feel like mine is just... I, I like Harbinger. Harbinger 5, I feel like, makes a ton of sense to use with Rom. 5 second cooldown reduction on Juggernaut. Juggernaut has a 15 second cooldown, so you just shave that down by a third. Five, four, and it stacks three, with Chronos without diminishing two, returns because it's active one. cooldown reduction. So, yeah, that's really good in my opinion. The run does get stopped by a lot of things. And so, in that sense... That's part of why you want it to be on as low of a cooldown as possible, so you, you know, if it gets countered, you can at least try and use it again sooner. But also, if it doesn't get countered, then you just straight up have more mobility. And that also helps you heal, because whenever you slam into somebody like that, you heal. Oh, he had help! I almost got him. Man. Why the haircut? The long hair was iconic. Finally, someone who doesn't like it. <laughs> uh, I just felt it was time for a change. I got the long hair in the first place because of the pandemic. I just didn't go to a barber for a year straight and just decided, nah, I'm gonna try growing up my hair. But it was getting annoying to upkeep. I felt it only looked good about half the time. And I just feel like it's time to move on. I did the Barrett cosplay, so I don't need it for that anymore. I already did it. Um, so yeah, it was just, you know. Let's go back to having it short. It feels a lot Another better. To add to the so, list. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. And there we go, we end up winning. Let's just see how we did here as Rom. <laughs> Imagine if we complete the quest that Rose Star issued to us last uh, stream. Just casually there. Top damage, top healing. Oh, not quite. Top damage? Ooh, not quite in the lobby. On my team, I got top damage. Only four kills, but 33 assists. <laughs> 64,000 healing, not bad. I basically doubled their ROM's amount of healing, so that's pretty good. General's had some great ults there, too. Five kills came from his ultimate, at least. Very nice. Does that satisfy you, Erlenmeyer? Was that a good ROM game for you? I hope it was, because that's, that's the only one you get. Uh, we are going to end off the stream now, so if you guys have enjoyed... Make sure to follow me on Twitch, check out the YouTube channel and the Discord server, both of which are linked in the About section down below. If you want to support the channel, you can of course subscribe, you get to watch ad-free, you get some emotes, you get some exclusive perks on Discord if your accounts are linked. And yeah, also if you have Amazon Prime, you can do it at no extra cost to you, just click the little Prime sub box, and Jeff Bezos will cover the cost, instead of you. So, you get rewards, I get rewards, it's great! Uh, you can also check out the Nexus, nexus.gg slash andrewchicken, you can buy crystals there, support me in the process. Pretty great stuff. But yeah, let's go raid somebody now. Looks like we're raiding Snoopy today. He's actually doing quite well. Guess he's doing some ranked. I guess the title of Ruckus Gaming and then Koga Gaming wasn't as enticing of a title as I thought. <laughs> I mean, I kind of expected that. All right, let's hit him with a raid. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Actually, next week, mind you. Or uh, after next week, because I'm not streaming for a whole week next week. But uh yeah, I'll see you in over a week. Let's just put it at that. I can't speak. I should just end the stream now. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out.